make a noise, mommy's picture lights up. Is yeah. that what you're doing? Yeah. I may be on mute most of the night. Yeah. All right. <laughs> or just use, if you have push to talk, do you have push to talk? It acts. She forgets to push. Oh. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. that's that's the original problem we had. Mine's the opposite. I should use push to talk and don't, and then noise. So, but everybody's in bed already tonight, so it's just me. Yeah, well, I've got a cuddly one because he's just he's doesn't want to go to bed because it he's going to stay up on Saturdays, but at the same tired because we ran around outside for four and a half.
And welcome everybody out in Twitch land to our 37th session of the Skies of Iscarius 5th edition Dungeon Dragon campaign. Uh, when last we left off our intrepid band of adventurers, they had went to explore an ancient tower of mages situated in uh, the uh, Academy of World Renown in the city of Arkenvale, searching for a magical artifact, the Aether Keystone, uh, that they hoped would help them possibly find a way to either free the primordials by making the key uh, or keep the primordials that may or may not destroy the entire world or usher the world into a new age of harmony and balance depending upon which side of the uh, schism you're on. Uh, but that being said, they, uh, they dug through this tower and found a secret uh, chamber in the basement uh, where they discovered the Emperor's son, uh, Prince Rakif Ordan, uh, had just finished competing some sort of ritual uh, enabling him as he reached in to this being of arcane essence and ripped out the Aether Keystone seemingly from the heart or soul of this beast. Uh, he was uh, he noticed the zoo crew and immediately uh, ordered his fellow mages to eliminate them and kill them uh, quickly teleporting outside of the academy. A uh, battle quickly ensued at that point in time as the uh, heroes attempted to fight their way through the uh, this arcane beast. I'm trying to bring up the picture, but uh, I'm having issues bringing it up. So. Yeah, it's just won't. Perhaps. One second. I'll just move one folder. Battling this arcane horror proved to be incredibly difficult, however, as it was immune to magical energy. Uh, even Korg's magical hammer proved to be ineffective against the beast as it was able to absorb any magical damage that came to it and seemed to somewhat kind of feed off of it. But luck was on their side as it was not a friend or ally of the Empire cult type mages that were within uh, that environment either. Uh, woefully targeting both the cult mages and the party. Uh, the battle was fierce and intense. Eventually, our zoo crew heroes discovered that mundane, regular weapons uh, the beast was vulnerable to. And they were able to mount an attack with Korg's hatchet, chopping away at the beast until finally slaying it. Uh, they explored the rest of the tower just to check of interest or note and then chose to leave as quickly as possible when a massive alarm sounded across the city of Arkenvale warning everybody uh, about the uh, uh, zoo crew infamous pirates were here to kidnap and murder the son of the emperor and uh, everybody should be on the lookout for them they quickly snuck their way back to the order of time and were able to meet with the Baron there and device, finally believe them that perhaps uh, Prince Rakif was not the great and amazing person that everybody said he was. Perhaps he truly was somebody to be careful of or dealing with. Uh, and they formulated a plan to try to break into the palace using the gala that is set to take place uh, in the coming days in order to have a cover to draw several of the nobles away. And that is where we are picking up for today's session. 
Uh, I believe you guys had just long rested. Uh, so it is the morning of the 29th. You guys are all level 10. Uh, so go ahead, make sure you have your appropriate abilities prepared, your appropriate spells prepared, and that you are good to go as you wake up here uh, on this morning event. I do have one question. I have two dice now that appear on my strength, like, like ability score. I'm not sure what it is. One's like the gray. Yes. What's I installed three? an extension that will highlight when you have advantage or disadvantage for th certain things. So you'll okay. see that your aspect of the bear gives you advantage on strength checks. Uh, so that's a permanent feature from your level seven or level six barbarian feature. So now it just highlights that you have advantage. So if you roll a strength check, it's just a reminder. And okay. it'll auto roll advantage on any strength checks. Okay. I also have advantage on initiative, though that doesn't have two boxes or two dice. Uh yes. That is uh in there. So it'll still roll advantage. If you look your feral instinct effect on the combat tracker says advantage in knit. If you you can roll some test rolls if you want and you'll see all of those should be working now, and you should be getting re-rolls on your ball again. You don't get advantage on intelligence. It's green. It's green because it's highlighting the box thing that you have a bonus to that stat. Because normally you'd have an 11, but it's letting you know a magic item is modifying it to make it. That's cool. What do you guys want to do? I want. Can we before we get too far, right? Can we just talk about how completely punchable this prince's face looks? I am. <laughs> Is that pencil like, pimples? No, that's like. No, he know, was right? scarred by a fire, and that's like the bolt kind of holding his face back together. This dude is has the single most punchable face in Ithcarius. I like he even his haircut like makes him look like a complete. Uh, yeah. Rumors <laughs> say that the prince earned his horrible scars uh, in a battle in the outer island region that he lost, and that his father forbade him from healing the scars as punishment for his failure. Which you can find on the wiki if we went and read a ton, right? Uh, no, I don't think oh. I put it on the wiki, but that okay. is the, the case. Yeah, well, screw that guy. I would like to add the scroll of Alter Self to my spell book. Oh, hey, so the first thing that I'd like to do personally is go through the belt of many pockets uh, and figure out what all was stored in there. And try and, you know, sort it and restore things depending on what we might need in the upcoming days. That was in so, Drazar's notes <laughs> on his character yeah. sheet. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what we have as our resources here. I only remember a sniper rifle being... There was other things, but that's the one that's... Not a sniper rifle. I, a rifle. I don't know what to call it. Yeah, the rifle from the one marksman guy in the in the uh, dungeon where we rescued your dad, or Jazar's dad. Um, that none of us could use at the time, and then we forgot about conveniently. I don't think any of us can use it still. Well, no. Crazy okay, character. so I went through. Uh, I thought I had the notes, but I don't. I had accidentally muted myself, so you weren't hearing. All I have is your notes that the command word was fish tacos. I don't have the notes what was in it, but I believe you have the long musket. There was a rapier. I think there was an actual fish taco in one of them, and I think a dagger, and that was it. Okay. All right. Um... That sounds right. All right. Well, I don't think we oh, have... Oh, so I did tell you about the Princess Scars, because it's in Drazar's notes. Yeah. 
I don't think the fish taco's any good anymore. Yeah, I know. I'm going to just throw that away. And I'm hey, not going to let Cork see it either. Unacceptable. I'm not going to let Cork see it either. Man, it's going to be gone. Rough. Gone. <laughs> no, that fish taco, it's an extra dimensional space. It's still good. It's like refrigeration. I don't think what? germs get to it in that weird deep end. Uh, there's, no, the there's no air. But time so, still passes, though. But there's there's no air. There's no but whatever was in the there's taco. No, but whatever was in the fine. taco can still ferment. I think it's fine. I don't think it is. Think fermentation requires oxygenation. I, 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 well, no, it's just there, like there, there could have been a like whatever is in it. I don't even know what all goes into Phil's fish tacos. I don't trust this. And while Korg may have exceptional constitution and could probably handle whatever you're planning on having him roll for. What's the just, <laughs> just saying, I personally think. That food stored in an extra dimensional pocket is probably still good. I, this isn't me trying to trick you into poisoning uh, and murdering cord. I think <laughs> extra dimensional pockets for storing seems, food okay, as, should as be DM, okay. I will allow you to make that ruling for yourself. Personally, you will allow him. You will allow the DM. <laughs> personally, so you allow if him I was to ever run a game, I'm sorry, but time does not stop in an extra dimensional space. So whatever's within the item is some, still there and affecting it. Some extra dimensional spaces do not follow the same rules of time as as other. I just thought it would be like an really a, a the stasis. creator of what the time rules are. Yeah, but who created the belt? A guy who wants to keep. I doubt it. <laughs> it's, it's five belt pockets. They can't hold that much. I want my tacos. Fine. I'm just kidding. You can check them. I don't. I, care. I, I get careless. It's, I don't. It's just an. It's a. It's a wasted space. So. Uh, it's from Drizar. Describe like, your scroll. Uh, alter ourselves a level two spell. So it's what 100 gold in two hours. Yes. And it's been a while since we've played with a wizard, but I want to say that's it. Uh. That's what I. Yeah. Mean. Copying a spell. Wait. It's outside. Uh, of so it... for each level of the spell, the process takes two hours and costs 50 gold. So it'd be four hours. Alter self's not a divination spell, so you don't get the... The cheaper the bit. cheaper, yeah. The so four hours and 100 gold. Worth. And you can just subtract the gold, because we're not going to do the whole, like, oh, find your special 100 gold of ink. All right. So whatever so time has it appropriately, just subtract the appropriate number of gold. All right. So I'm going to go ahead uh re replace the items in the belt. Uh I'm going to go ahead and throw the halberd in one of the pockets. Let me open okay. up a note thing. Where's You make a Yeah, can you make a note like maybe under the journal tab on your journals. Journals, journals, where's the journals? Uh notes, notes. No, that's notes. That's not journal. Where's the journal? Go on your character sheet. There's a oh, new journal oh, tab. Journal, journal. Okay, I see it. Yeah. And... A new way to do notes that keep them all contained on your character sheet. So it is the uh, belt of pocketses. Don't know what he has in his nasty, nasty pocketses. Um, it was molding fish tacos. Right. So I'm going to put a I'm rolling they didn't have mold. Non-molding fish tacos. Non-molding fish taco. But no, I'm going to put a halberd in one of the pockets. He uses uh, a lot of preservatives. Let's see. Let tab here. So, Those fish tacos are heavily actually, salted. It's actually like a McDonald's french fry. You can find they're, them to your, your they're seat. They're heavily like salted fish tacos. Yeah, like you I'm find that french fry under the car seat like a year later and it still I'll looks put, like a french fry. What makes the most sense? Uh, do we have any extra potions or anything? I used my last one on the last fight. Yeah, we need to go buy potions too. Uh, I'm out too. We need to go shopping. It does say I have one in just says potion. It doesn't say what type. It's probably I definitely really used that potion. other one. Uh, belt pockets is, uh, uh, let me take a look at your, I bet you don't have it identified yet. It's not identified. It just has a red liquid vial. Wave. I'm going to put the... It says 
identified. The Wayfinder in one. I'm going to put... Only seeing one. Oh, I see. There's one other potion on there. There you uh, go. You also have a potion of fire resistance. Yeah, I do have that one. Yeah, that was a potion of greater healing. Short bow in one. I'm going to give Baleen the potion of fire resistance. I feel like I don't benefit that much from it. Okay. Belina needs to create an extra dimensional space in which time travels 20 times faster than normal time and put her dragon egg in. Uh, in a heated container, nonetheless. We should have used that arcane terror for heat. Can you do that? Why not? Can How do you contain an arcane terror? You just, you know, get some, <laughs> some duct tape and just wrap it around... Well, well, I mean, then... all you see if it's weak to mundane objects, then all you should have to do is put it in a box, right? It can't get out of the box because it's mundane. It has to be a pretty big box, but yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> we'll just Scooby Doo this thing and just thump, right. Uh, it has to be see. somewhat metal. Uh, and then the quiver of arrows. Goodbye, potion of fire resistance. Twenty. All right, and then... Uh, oh, wait, we can transfer it to the party sheet, right? Right, and I can pick it up from there. And then... Uh, for arrows, 20, and then... Uh, what was the other thing I was going to put in there? Uh, if you have spare room, I still have two magic fruit that you could carry. Cause it'd be easier for you to get to them in a pouch than it would be for me to dig them out of my backpack. Well, I could only put one of them in. So if you give me one, I'll throw it in here. So, uh, magic fruit. Just drag and drop magic fruit into the party sheet inventory tab, and then we can assign it to him. So I do a way to do it. Yeah. Okay. And just drag and drop the dragon head in there, and it sends right over. Will it take both of them, or just one of them? You can declare one or two in there. Declare them. I just yeah. transfer it as one. Yeah, I'll do one automatically, drag again, and it'll... In there, so now we have magic fruit divided out between the party. All right. I don't see magic fruit in my inventory. You use them all. I think... Yeah, I definitely use mine. Johanan is the only one who still yeah. is holding on to some. Okay. Yeah. There's only two magic fruits left all of existence. We have to go back to that island. But now, see, you oh, guys true. were... You guys needed the magic fruit to heal up and stuff, and with Jahanan being the squishy that hides in the background, I never actually needed mine. Yeah, because you guys would Jahanan be beat up enough. You'd be like, <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys would be beat up enough. You'd be like, short rest. We need this. We need that. I never needed. It, it was. I'm either rolling death saves or I'm hiding in the back, perfectly fine. So. Okay. So, uh, I took, uh, pass, or just for your awareness, I felt new spells coming to my mind as I was writing them down vigorously. I wrote down one called Pass Wall and another called Telepathic Bond. <laughs> oh, nice. Wait, what? Pass Wall? What, what does that does Pass do? Wall do? Well, we can pass through walls? I can. I. I, I can. I can't say that I completely understand it, but from what I get is that I could say make a passage and, you know, like point to the wall and then I could be like the the passage is 400 meters long and then we walk through a passage. Well, you know, you did a horrible conversion of 20 feet 
somehow became 400 meters. But yeah, the gist of it is it creates a passage. So here's my question. Through a wall. Does uh, it, is it, does, it, does it disappear after we've used it? Uh, no, it can It'll, last. It can last for an hour. Yeah. Sorry. Does or it, must say it in character. Yeah. Does it destabilize structures if you put it in key, you know, maybe load varying no. <laughs> sections of the, Okay. No, it does not. All right. See this load varying wall? <laughs> Door. <laughs> it actually specifically says it creates no instability in the structure surrounding it. That it's is thought of your of, question. Yep, it definitely did. It's like how would players abuse about the load bearing walls? Yep, that was my first thought with that was hmm, load bearing walls, bring it down on a dragon's head. I'm not playing with this game. Look, I only did that. <laughs> it only takes one time. <laughs> you learn. Like, what does this tower look like? Oh, it's shoddy. Like, it's right. just held up by, like, a single post. Oh, I'm going to blow that post up with Shatter and bring the tower on the dragon. Exactly. All right. So, uh, after I sort my uh, belt of pocketses, um, which I have so named it uh, in my journal entries, uh, I... Uh, would like to, uh, disguise myself in order to start observing the guard patrols in the town and around oh. the, uh... Just wait a minute. Wait a minute, he says. Telepathic bond lets us talk to each other in our heads. Yeah. And, you know, I just gotta, you know, cast it like a... Uh, you know, a seance, uh, and and it's uh, a ritual. That's it. And we could talk to each other for an hour. Oh, wow! In our heads. Couldn't we just talk to each other, not in our heads, though? But what if we gotta be quiet? Then you whisper like this. It's not that hard. I mean, where are you guys having like, this conversation? We're by inside the. Way? the are you like the, in the parlor or in your dorm room? We have a like, dorm room. Uh, do we There's have? a dormitory for visiting people. Probably That's where I probably. I, be. Yeah, either there or drinking. But yeah, no. If I'm going to be going through the belt of pockets, I'm probably uh, in this. Um, when we left off, you guys room. are in the parlor. Or something. Yeah. yeah. Probably uh, here in the dorm room. Yeah, more than likely. Is there anyone else in the dorm room besides us? There is not at this time. If you had been in the parlor, I was going to have somebody be like, hey, shut up over there. It's morning. That would have been funny for me. Oh, I see. Alas, you're in the dormitory. You're in the dormitory. So I just realized that I can't put my halberd in the belt of pockets because it's on the ship. <laughs> That's true, so, you did say you left it on the ship. I did, so I can't put the halberd in the belt of pockets. So I have an open space in the belt of pockets. Does anyone need to put something in the belt of pockets? I have a long sword you can put in there if you want to. Sure. Where the hell's my journal? Dude, um, when you click on the tokens now with the new Fantasy Ground upgrade, the ring is colored to your die color. Oh, fancy. Arthos is black, Belina is like greenish. Jahanan is purple, Korg is green. That's cool. Seems so like every time I play this, it gets lighter, though. I have to go in and retexture them darker. Mine wasn't black there to begin with, and now it is. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it it auto updates. It, it ties to your eye color. Because we got the new Fantasy Grounds. Unity pushed out the new update for the new arrows. Halberd is. Back and I actually cabin. remembered to update it on my own. The new circles, and look, you can put the sizing wherever you want. Cabin. Huge, huge upgrade for Fantasy Ground. Okay. Um, hmm. So. Carried. Carried. Felt carried. casual. Uh, I don't have a longsword in my inventory. I'll have to add it, I guess. Is 
card giving you his long? Yeah, I can add. I can give it to you. I haven't used it at all, so I can put it. Okay. Yeah, because I don't. I'll just. I can't. It's, it's easier to just distribute that way so that you. Can yeah. Done. Yeah. Have a long song, um, my friend. Yeah. I'll just put it in the belt of pockets is to be thrown at someone at some point in time in case we run into something else that doesn't take damage from magical things. Pockets is... I just... Okay. Yeah. I have a fun idea for later. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's a, just a prank, so it'll be a fun prank I get to play later. I just realized. Uh, all right, so... And Korg won't even realize it's a prank. Something he'll think is very intelligent. It'll be hilarious, and it, it was, it's all of my intelligence to come up with it. Oh, oh, there's something else I want to try. Is it the accordion? I have a set. I'm going to activate my ethereal sight. The ethereal sight? You can see... Oh, wait. What is that? <laughs> you st I like how you stopped yourself and you were like, Korg wouldn't know this. Wait a minute. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Ethereal. Like the armor pieces? What part about country do you not understand? Ethereal. Oh, I thought that was like that really metal stuff that's really strong. Ah. <laughs> Mithril. I can see those ethereal armor pieces too. It's not that special. Oh, okay. What's going on? Is there anything around us? I just the bed in the dresser. <laughs> Which, by the way, these beds are too close. I can't even like. How do you get out of the middle one? <laughs> How do you roll over? <laughs> there were four in the bed, and the big giant cork said, roll over. You know, <laughs> I don't appreciate you making fun of my mapping abilities. I love it. <laughs> Y'all don't take up actual five feet. I know. Well, cork might. might. Yeah. Cork might actually be five feet wide. There's but... a small chance. He's 675 pounds, I, thought, I realized. So. I thought this was, like, my best map ever, and here you are. Just It's a great map. What do you think? Uh, I have a good. couple things I actually want to get with you about afterwards, because I don't have some yeah. of this stuff in my mapping. I don't know if yeah. there was another update pushed out recently, but... So, anyway. I, I have additional... Uh, this map was used almost entirely by for the Forgotten Adventures. Uh, item mapping pack. I am a member of the Patreon for one dollars. He creates phenomenal mapping resources and maps. And he also created these dungeon draft integration uh, map pack tools that I utilize almost exclusively because I like them more than the dungeon draft one. I just pay a dollar a month. So. They are they are hella nice compared to what I have. So yeah, he he makes great maps and stuff. But I like making my own. So. Maps. Oh, I just uh, gave it. One other thing that Smart. I wanted to look for uh, was to see if somewhere within the scroll library, and whatnot, if they if they had a scroll of raised dead, and if I could convince the uh, magister to let me borrow it for the sake of the cause. So you uh, can choose to peruse the library. Indeed, indeed. Oh my up. goodness. Belina, while you're in there, it's a up. new extension that oh I got. Oh my god! For inventories. I Look. created a randomized scroll listing uh, library. And raised dead is not in there. Hey, Go. While you're in there, look for look for a scroll hey. to create fish tacos. There are no. In fact, there are no R spells. There's with that. There's. It, 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 there's a whole lot of arcane spells. There's a whole lot of this, C's. This I'm getting wizard like wizard centric spy like organization. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spells that start with A. Oh, look, there is one, create two, three, four, undead. Five, six, seven, eight spells that begin with B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen spells that begin with C. 
Blame <laughs> Wizards of the Coast for how they name spells. Well, but look, there's like no R spells. It's like there's one S spell. It's like it goes alphabetically, and you get a bunch of spells at the beginning of the alphabet, and then you get like two Fs, an I, a couple Ls, an S, T, and another T. It's like, <laughs> forget the, re- the back end of the spell list. You don't need anything from back there. I'm just... Why Revivify, is... resurrection, revivification, you know, there, resurrection. Why is there, uh, is there a force cage worth 33,794 gold? It's a level 7 spell, and there's a bit of a markup. Expensive things cost a lot. A oh. level 7 spell scroll is extraordinarily rare. Is this us buying it? I, didn't, I guess I didn't ask that. This this would be the cost if you were to buy it uh, for non order members. All right, so there is no. There I'm is... looking at the description for Scroll of Finger of Death. I don't see what it does. It's in the spell. The spell Finger of Death. You have to click uh, spell. Oh, okay. And click like, the link. Wanted... Oh. The Finger of Death. Uh, force cage sounds amazing. And... Finger of death is the thing that uh, ended our first campaign together. <laughs> he, uh, That's what he used on us. He used Was that it to kill on that everybody. No, he used finger of death to kill the NPC, and you guys figured, oh, we should. Uh... No, 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 no. Hold on. Tell. Tell the Thinky. truth. Thank you. Thank you. Figured. Because the NPC was killed, she should attack it while you were all under the effects of hold person, and then you all died. Okay. Well, I can't click on it because I don't have the right module open, so oh well. Uh, I don't need yeah. uh, player's handbook? Do I need it, though? I'll just keep playing wrong, and you can correct me later. <laughs> oh, like, it links to the player's handbook. <laughs> I need to open my module. <laughs> yeah, I don't oh. know... Uh, do you have other stores like this? I built another store in the town. Because uh, I don't have a whole bunch of stores built yet. But well, just in general, this is awesome because the buy right? button. You load it up and then just click buy. And... But I will just say, if you want to buy something, uh, Ortho, for this particular place, let me know before you hit. You have a different price. I can't. I can change the markup for you before. Well, there's a discount, or there's. Um, you, uh, particularly, to pay this. I have to close and reopen. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. So scroll of alarm went from 53 to 18. Hold on. Or is the super extensive? It's 18 for me, too. Holy crap. Yeah, me, too. I'm going to take well, that. Just get, I'm uh, not gonna, don't hit buy right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, too late. I'm taking it. A so, <laughs> scroll of meteors. That took off 20,000 gold. Hey, oh. scroll of legend lore only costs 290 gold now. Heck yeah. If oh. Ortho's buying it. Because he's a member so, of the order. So of if we give, so we hand saying, our money to Ortho. So we hand our money to Ortho. He buys the <laughs> scrolls and then gives them back to us. Is what you're telling us? You guys. Are I'm so not just... saying you can't do that. I'm just saying <laughs> that only Ortho gets the discount. <laughs> but what if what if I parlay with the uh, the head, you know, magister of the perhaps. The, the, the you can speak to the Baron, maybe figure yeah. out if you can get scrolls for a more reasonable cost. Yes. Like scroll of um Because uh a couple hand of... languages. I could really use that. Uh for that way uh, I'm not so crazy and not understanding what's happening. Like a scroll of banishment. No, you still wouldn't <laughs> know what was going on. <laughs> banishment. I still Bye. hate banishment. I still hate banishment. <laughs> we're in the middle of this awesome fight and I'm in the shit, and it's like 
and then like eight rounds later, I'm still sitting there like, guys, it's so dark <laughs> right, here. Right, there's nothing we can do. He's not failing his content. I'm just killing. <laughs> 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 My least favorite spell of D&D now. It's like eight rounds later, man. That was like 30 minutes of me just sitting there doing nothing. It's definitely a save or suck spell. Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm willing to do that. I All right. I mean, I could really use that uh, a couple disguise self spells because just using, you know, my disguise kit, that can be broken fairly easily. Scroll of blink, guys. There's also a scroll of alter self. It's a yeah. passive muscle memory. You don't even have to remember it. It does it by itself. What, is, what does alter self do versus disguise self? Fusion and alter self is an actual physical change. Okay, so in a different form. Uh, one of the following options. Aquatic, change appearance. Height, weight, facial features, sound of voice. Uh, another race, though none of your statistics change. Okay. It's like polymorph. That, that actually is really nice. Or polyjuice. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. It's like what Jahanan can do naturally. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, so alter self. Can we get more than one of them, or is there only one of each of these? Uh, there appears to be one in the inventory. There's... How long There's... does it last? Uh, for alter. Yeah, one it's one hour. Son of a biscuit! That doesn't. How long does this guy's self last? An hour. Also an hour. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> So one thing I just noticed... Steaming lasts after, for eight hours. I know. Go ahead, Johanna. After roll, scrolling through all the scrolls, I went through to remind myself of the new spells I picked up. And I don't have magnifying glasses on... Uh, on, I, on three different spells. Um, I think Dispel Magic and Mending are just so it doesn't matter, but doesn't counterspell a roll, and it doesn't have a way for me to actually do it. Yeah, counterspell should have a roll if you're doing a higher level spell. So you yeah, would it, just, it you would just me... do a spellcasting ability check, so it's just a charisma check. Okay, so I just it's have to normal. roll the check rather than yeah. actually roll it from the spell list. It's check plus yeah. proficiency. Uh... It says make an ability check using your spellcasting ability, not a. Uh, yeah, but when you consider your spellcasting ability like your attack modifier, it counts in your proficiency. Maybe, probably. So how would I actually end up rolling? I don't if... know. That's one of those things that I get confused about too. Is it might just be just your charisma, or I don't know if it's charisma plus proficiency. Because is it your spell casting ability, you know, like for when you're casting spells and making like attack rolls, or is it just your ability modifier? I think you just get raw ability bonus, no raw ability, no proficiency. Okay. So it's, it's just straight charisma check. Because okay. otherwise, it would say make a uh, like a spell casting uh, whatever check or. Okay, so I'd have to go into any time I use that spell. I'd have to mark the spell slot and then go into the skills tab to actually do the check if I needed it. Well, yeah, if you need it. So it depends first because it auto works depending upon what level you cast if it. If you use a fifth third level or, clock, third or under, if it's a yeah, or under, it automatically it's, it's whatever works. slot you so use. To... If you cast it, it using a fifth level slot, it's any level. <laughs> Level five or lower, so it only required check uh, if it was a six level. Has uh, nobody mentioned Force Cage yet? I didn't even know this was a spell. It's by far the best spell in the entire game. It is listed as one of the best spells in the game. Yeah, I'm reading this shit. I've never even heard of it. Like I'm reading this shit. Holy crap! Like bleh, you're you're in the cage. There's no save. There's no concentration that lasts for an hour. You're just. And if you touch it, it's gone. Or, I mean, you're a cost, you do need 1,500 gold pieces worth of ruby dust 
uh, Small to sacrifice. cast it traditionally, but from a scroll that cast has already been expended. I Which just mean just want to say this is the best thousand. scroll I've ever seen in my life. Like it's imagine, awful. imagine homeboy being like, "I'm gonna blink out of here," and you going, "No," and he just stands there. There's no save. There's nothing he can do. He's just in it. I swear, Korg's gonna get hit with one of these, and I'm gonna start crying. It's one hour of just sitting in a cage. We should get that and throw Rakeef in it and then laugh at That's it. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Bro, this force cage is not, you can't cast out of it. You can't blink out of it. It blocks ethereal travel. It is straight up. You are stuck and you're not going anywhere for an hour, dude. Yeah, but that's expensive. <laughs> it's, it's like, I mean, you can make a saving throw to try to teleport out of it, but yeah. Yeah, I didn't yeah charisma the saving throw. Oh, yeah. Spell it must... scroll saving throw DC 18 with an attack bonus of plus 10. Alright, do you guys have 11,000? Yeah, or 1,100... It can't uh, be dispelled by magic freaking, either. Yeah, 1,100 freaking platinum. That's a that's a <sighs> strong spell. Who's a pull? Okay, uh... But yeah, there's no there's no healing spells in this. I'm You guys do have over two thousand platinum. Korg alone has almost eleven hundred platinum. He has a thousand platinum just in Korg himself. <laughs> I'm a hoarder. I don't know what to spend it on. That's why I've been funding the troops. Every, like, oh, every time every time one of uh Ortho's characters has died, Korg has kept to their belongings. Yep, that's it's true. But to be fair, I've also for our guys, so I try not to make you guys pay for it. I pay for them every time. All right. Well, I, and at the I same actually, time, we have I a captain. Have enough yeah. gold on me right now. Just Korg himself has enough to buy that whole scroll, because I have another one thousand eight hundred forty-three uh, gold pieces on top of the one thousand and forty-three uh, platinum pieces. The fun. Hold well, to cast it. You have to make a check to see if you succeed or not. Right. Yeah, it's not like right. it's actually worth it right this second. Yeah, no. But that's something to note if we ever have to come back here and snag it. What class We just have to keep stuff. Ortho alive to get the discount. Right? <laughs> we can't come back later and just... The real reason you guys want to keep Ortho around. This is a good scroll library. We kind of want this shit. I love this store. It's the best Bards store. get that. Bards get that spell. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what are you guys? I'm letting them shop. I'm not doing anything. Uh, no, but we need to go potion shopping, and then we need to go. Uh, we need to go uh, do some uh, investigating on the uh, freaking what's it called? Um, the guard routes and everything. So Belina will go ahead and cast seeming. And uh, make herself, uh, Belina and Korg, not look like herself. Belina, uh, uh, Johanan and Korg look like her. So, oh, I've never changed shape because somebody else has done it. This is interesting. <laughs> so this is we're gonna look like generic, you know, the three stooges humans. Uh, myself and Johanan will remain female. Uh, I'm not really going to worry about change. That is just the appearances. We're all going to appear as human members of society based off the clothing that I've seen worn in the people moving about town and everything uh, since we've been here. Uh, obviously, the bands are going to show through anyways, so uh, appropriate based off of class uh, and bands as such. Uh, and uh, Korg's going to be a larger human, kind of bulky, maybe a in a uh, kind of like a bodyguard, kind of. I know exactly what he looks like. It's uh, but like send me that it's picture. like. It's like Frankenstein, except without the stitches. Right? Uh, 
but uh, but kind of like in like a bodyguards type. If you see if you've seen anybody walking around or anything like that to some of the more esteemed uh, class levels, uh, and then. Uh, <laughs> Okay, yeah. I get, I get what you're going for. All right. Uh, I know exactly what he looks like. Okay. Uh, Let me see if I can find a picture to use for Belina. Uh, shouldn't take me long. I'm pretty good at this. Uh, while they're doing that, I'm going to ritually cast uh, Telepathic Bond. Okay. And okay. Pick the four of us. There's no distance on that? As long as you're on the same plane of existence. Oh, it's a bit blurry. If you zoom in on it. Because uh, I pulled it straight out of the... I didn't pull up the origin. This should auto. Uh, there you go. This is what Korg looks like in his human disguise. Looking. I, like I found it. a couple good pictures. I just. Yeah, this is probably the closest as to what Belina would do for herself because she's that vain. Give me a sec. I will post it in the Discord and you can do whatever you want with it. Guy joining the Discord is not. I said new message. I went, oh, okay. Wrong channel. Yeah, yeah this looks like something that. you would pick. Totally. Uh. Oh. Yeah, that that's about what I was thinking. Uh, for 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 Korg, like he's obviously like Jahanan's bodyguard. Uh. Sort of thing. It's better being a car issue. Here's human Belina. What the? Holy f shit. Oh, okay. I thought that was me. I was like, dude, that's not me. Oh. Okay. Little. Oh, that makes sorry. sense, I guess, for a bard. For Yeah. Destructive. Bard and Belina. She's vain. I'm so sorry. what are you doing to Jahanan? Uh, yeah. Give me a sec. Let's see. Give me a sec. I will find an appropriate one for Jahanan. I promise I just have to get back to the thing. Uh, Why do I look like this human? I don't think they said that they're not letting guards in here, so I should be just fine. I don't need to look like this human. No, no, uh, this is for while we're walking around in town. We do still you need... want me to leave? No, we're not, we're not leaving. We're going to stay yeah. kind of together. Um, I gave the actual name. Copy All right. All right. Um, but no, 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 we're not. We're... What the? Why did everything resize so much? That's a nat 20 for today, Ortho! Oh, for Portet? Oh, good. Yeah. I like it. All right. We're going to be on point today. All right, so these are our seemings. This is so we can go shopping and we can observe the guard patrols in town and try and help us develop. And here is human... Johanan. What about yeah. Ortho? You look the same. <laughs> Ortho, you already blend in. There are plenty of halfling mages. It's not a crazy thing for you to just be you. Do we know if the prince saw him? What if he's already... Uh... No, he just said a halfling. Then there's no updated wanted posters. I think he'll be fine. Besides, he can cast his own illusory image spells. What? No, no, I can't. I literally, you know what? He didn't take seeming because uh, 
you took seeming, but this is I know what he looks like. Hold on. I can take alter self. I mean, Hold on, I already know what he looks like. Okay. Okay. Give me one second. I wanna see I wanna <laughs> I think I know what Okay, going. we'll we'll let this fly. We'll see what he does. I'm gonna do you if you load that? up the picture of the halfling from the player's handbook, I will 100% accept that. Now this is this is a special this is a special moment in time. Yeah, uh, I want to see this. I'm, I... Okay, one moment in time. This is yeah. a... This is, yes! This is <laughs> yes! Oh, oh yes! <laughs> Not ortho so anymore. That's back. <laughs> <laughs> Popo. Popo sandwich. A strawberry burn. <laughs> With ethro eyes. This, this was ortho's first character ever in D and D three point five. Popo Hamwich, the fat halfling. I love so, it. Didn't you take like a speed reduction because you made him so big? You're like, oh, yeah. handicapped. He had the five speed. He had to move around and take a turn because he was so too fat. So, uh, <laughs> and he had to make constitution oh, checks when he was running to see if, if he was gonna like pass out or take exhaustion. I took feats to prevent, or a feat called endurance to prevent exhaustion <laughs> from too much running. That's and eventually he felt bad for me, so he gave me a mount. It was a very big mount, like an elephant. It was a reindeer. <laughs> See? Oh my and God. now that your appearance reflects your ego. So! Hey! <laughs> wow. Uh, so All now right. we can go shopping. I will talk like this so that they don't hear my voice and say, that must be Korg, the bandit outlaw. The... Your voice isn't recorded anywhere, Korg. But now they'll never know. Now you just sound... You know what? You do you, Korg. It's it's not Korg. It's... Grok. All right, Grok. I just took coming it's for a mommy Grok. moment. I'll be right back. All right, doll. Having a small identity crisis. Gork, yeah, I can't remember my name. who you are anymore. I can't remember. I've had to like change my name and my appearance twice now, and I don't know who I am. I'm like I'm a start, goldfish. If I don't, I'm gonna start calling you. I'm day. gonna start calling you Krog, and then you'd be like, "What?" <laughs> I just respond to. Ugh. Oh, that's me. Yeah. That's... Anyways, so All right. with the seaming up, we're gonna go. We're gonna go out and see how if the hollow blue has died down yet from all of the warnings that went up yesterday about the zoo crew, uh, and if we can get any shopping done, as well as observing watch patrols and things like that, rather nonchalantly. Okay, and then coming back here before the. All right, you guys head into the town, then. Consistently, uh, telepathically reminding Korg that his name is Grok. Name is Grok. That... Her name is Grok. Her name is Grok. I'm just right. super confused now. Thanks a lot, Belina. <laughs> <laughs> At least you didn't get turned into a turtle again. That's true. You're a human now. I, I won't bite anybody's finger. No, not this time. We'll see. Well, I mean, you could. I, people we'll try will be not confused. to. All right. So we need to, to stock up on supplies and things. Yeah. So you guys head out into Arkenvale, the, uh, the capital city. It is... A massive metropolis but thankfully ortho is very uh experienced he's lived here for several years uh he kind of knows what's going on and he can kind of guide you around depending upon what you're trying to buy and what you're looking for 
Uh, so what's the the first kind of you're looking for like more scrolls or potions or things like that? Yeah, potions. potions first. I think we got to get some replacement healing right. potions and uh, so like. I expected this, and the only shop that I have built is a shop that uh, Ortho knows. It's Havard Scrolls and Potion Shop. Oh wow! Two and, and uh, one. Aha! Ha ha! Huzzah! And I do want to just say so. Human Korg's picture is actually a custom uh, picture that Korg got commissioned uh, by Burgess Kretrovas. I'll post that in the chat. Um, so, got a couple of things commissioned for several of us, and that's why I knew about it. Um, phenomenal artwork. Uh, I got one as well for a gnome. That's my favorite thing. And uh, Ortho has one. Character. So I just wanted to plug that because that is not a random picked off the internet picture like the rest of these are. That was actually a custom commission. And uh, it's important to support artists. So if you really like that one, check out the chat. Go support local artists because they are awesome. Yeah, he has an Instagram under the same name. So if you want to find him, you can just go to Instagram and uh, follow the name uh, that we'll post on there. And he does a lot of really good stuff. So. so Ortho guides you uh, through the city, heading towards the uh, the Harvard Scrolls and Potions. As you approach it, it's a three-story, massive uh, building. As you come inside, it looks like maybe living quarters up on the top. And, and sitting behind the, uh, the counter, you see just rows upon rows of like bookcases, stuffed with parchment, bottles. It looks like they're brewing stuff. Uh, there, there's quite a bit of stuff going on, but several of them have, uh, you see these like weird tag systems, like a gold braid hanging off one or a blue braid off another. Some of them aren't tagged at all, but, uh, but you do see a pretty, uh, large amount of tagging uh, against the, the gnome looks up like, oh, oh. Customers, customers, yes, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? It's so nice to have customers in town. Oh, such fancy and striking! I've, I've never seen such garments before on a young lady of your own caliber. And, ooh, a striking, oh, strong bodyguard as well. You must be somebody. Oh, oh, no, not a noble. Oh, I see. see. Oh, oof. Uh, okay. Yes, one of those. Yes. Well, how can I help you? How can I help you? Yes. Uh, we're in the market to purchase some potions and scrolls and we heard this was the best place in Ark, all of Arkenvale to come and shop for such. Yes, yes, if you're still looking for scrolls and potions or potions and scrolls, this is the place that you want to be. Have our scrolls and potions. I thought they would make the name pretty simple. People would be able to find it easily. There's no mixing up what it is. We sell scrolls and we sell potions. We sell potions and we sell scrolls. That's what we do. That's what we're here for. That's why I'm going to help you out. What kind of stuff are you looking for? Do you want to browse the goods? Do you want to look at what I got in stock? Maybe you're looking for something special. Maybe you want something brewed. Maybe you want something that's already made. Maybe you want something. Oh, you want to. Oh, you want something healthy. You want something to help you in the sack. You want something to help you in the bedtime. Mm, I know how you bards get. Ah. Very nice. Your muse is all they want you to love and passion. Yes, they want you to go have a I have with no people. We can give you a dance all night long. However, I would indeed uh, like to peruse what uh, uh, what you do have available. Uh, do you have a list of your made potions? Oh yes, yes, yes. Of course, please, please. These are the ones that we don't currently have on our reservation system. Of course, we can always do custom brews, custom orders. You give us the gold, you give us the money, and we'll go through. We can make almost anything that you want, but this is what we have ready and available today. Other things are available for pickup at a later time. We do ask that if you want to do a custom order, you have to put half down in order to pay for the ingredients and the reagents so that we can actually go through and do stuff. But if you don't want to have the reagents, then you know you can't pay the half down, and then you don't get what you want. Paulina, Paulina. Yes? Have you ever heard? Listen. There's no offense to them, but they don't breathe. So you're just going to have to wait for a break. What can I do for you? You're looking for something special? You're looking for someone like you? Oh, you got a long, strong, strapping man back there. What's your name, younger? Apparently, he doesn't even know his name. He's so starstruck. It must be something that has to do with traveling with such a beautiful, fine lady as yourself. And another lady. And it, oh, oh. What is. Rock. Stops as he looks at Ortho. <laughs> You're a wizard. How? 
<laughs> of course. What? Ah, a beautiful sorcerer here. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, he looks away from the fat halfling, almost in disgust. <laughs> 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 okay. Wow. So the, the only, so the only, res, uh, bring back spell they have is a scroll of resurrection, which is above all of our casting ability at the current time. And, and wish, wish. technically, well, technically <laughs> wish, but yeah, that's also well above our casting ability at this time. Just take a penalty when we try to use it. What does right. a potion of heroism do? Ten temporary points. It, uh, what level can you guys cast that right now? Obviously not level seven, but where are you at? Uh, five, but oh, we're nowhere near that. Okay, we can cast the higher stuff if we make the. If we make check. the checks, yeah. yeah, the checks. So it's it's check only it. a so... DC nineteen check to cast the list. <laughs> just a I could do it. Risk. So wait, I don't have to make a check. What's up? That's right. You've already got you a twenty use, today. You could use Porta today. Today oh, only. Tomorrow, you could replace your check. I cast a it's wish. worth using portent, right? Like we'll, we'll, we'll hold on to the spell, and then oh man, we really need it to go through. You take your roll, right? But okay, you just you can roll for it and then replace it if it fails. So technically, you got like your backup. No, he, you have to choose to use portent. You have to you choose before roll the roll. Oh, you can't. I okay. Well, yeah. then there okay. you go. Well, the the crucial, you could do it. See, telepathic mindscape right now. I yeah. say if we we buy wish. And steal the stone. Uh, we can't afford wish. Damn. We don't have a collective six thousand um platinum six. pieces. No. No, you have a collective two thousand two hundred platinum. How do I have fifty percent of our money? Because you were the you captain. One hundred seventy platinum. I have so much. Yes, yes, you do. Uh, I mean so... that's not including our gold, you know. Yeah, if we add in gold, are we close? Does it no, make you're at like 2,400 platinum. Yeah, no. Oh, so close. It was close, Yeah, guys. No, we, we need like 6,000. Well, let's, let's go all the way down if to... If you take all the money for your crew that you have set aside as well, then you're at like 2,800 platinum. I'm so sure I'm, I'm sure we could talk this person down. I don't think that's a good idea. No. You can talk him from 60,000 to. Why don't. Ooh, you all are being really weird right now. You're just sitting at looking at the list and just it's all silence. It's kind of weirding me out a little bit. What's going on? Are you interested in anything? You want to buy anything? You haven't said a word. Are... Well, I'm currently perusing. Uh, I'm in debate on personally myself on as whether it would be better to pick up multiple potions of greater healing or to get a potion of superior healing. Oh, why not both? You look like a, a lady who might need a little extra healing in the night. If you catch my turf. Perhaps nice. those nice. that I administer to, yes? Or one to remove disease. <laughs> I don't have any potions that can remove disease, but I might be able to draft you up a scroll that can remove disease if that's something that you're really looking for. It would only take me maybe a day or two to get everything together. You can put 50% down and then we can work out the cost and we go from there and you figure out you can get a scroll to remove disease. Not that difficult to cast, I must say. Especially for one of your own, you know... I, you know, I, oh, oh, I see Crack here. Crack looks like a kind of person who could maybe cast a little bit of divine spells. Huh? Huh? Maybe you can a little tap in. You can do a little, oh, I see you got a little of divine magic there. Huh? Huh? What kind of magic can you cast, huh? I've never really seen a strong, burly man like you that's actually able to cast spells. What do you do? 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 See, guys, you can talk to animals. I can talk to animals too. It's a natural thing. Us knows. A lot of us can talk to animals. What's your favorite animal to talk to, huh? Huh? What's your favorite animal to talk to? I like talking to badgers. What animal do you like talking to? Do you like talking to badgers? Maybe you like badgers. We could be badger friends. I have a snake that flies, and that's really all that I have. You have a flying snake? That's really cool. My badger would probably eat your snake. What do you think? You want to bet on it? You want to bet on it? You want to bet whether my badger can eat your snake? Not you want to have? They could fight. Maybe 50 gold pieces. 50 gold pieces. My badger can eat your snake. What do you think? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? You want to take that bet? You want to bet? 50 gold pieces. 
Die. You're not worth my time. What about the lady in the back, huh? Sorcerers, what are you looking for? What do you care about? What do you want to look at? You want to look at some scrolls? You want to maybe get a little thing? Ah, oh, I really like your look. It's, it's very it's very fanciful. You got a little blade there. Do you know how to use that blade? Is it pretty good? Maybe you could fight the guard there. I'll give you 50 foot gold if you fight your bodyguard. What do you think? You want to do it? You want to, you want to spend 50 gold? Fight your bodyguard? See who wins? No, I have a bodyguard for a reason. Oh, you yeah, think he would probably beat you? If we were to stick with purely, there is a very good possibility. You, you cut out for half of that, though. If we stick with purely physical weapons, then there is a very good possibility he would beat me. I'm it's curious. Sure. Right. Do you want to look at the list? What do you want? Just gonna peruse your list. I'm not quite sure what I'm after. My dear to to end, so I figured it would be worth it to see what I might add to my own collection. Of course, of course, of course. We're always happy to help out. We again, we can make all sorts of things. Maybe I got something in the back. Maybe I got something that you're looking for. Tell me what you're looking for. Maybe I got something special. Maybe I can make a little deal. Maybe we can do a little something, something on the side. What do you think? So over the telepathic link, I ask if uh, someone had the phone, the potion of superior healing and two greater healing potions. Uh, Cork just so nods good. for no reason. Cork. You want something in the back, Rock? Is that what you're looking for? You want something in the back? What, what, are you, what are you looking for? What can I do for you? You want a scroll? You want a potion? What do you want? You look like the kind of person who would like a potion. What kind of potion do you want? We you want a potion of healing? You're a burly man. You want some healing potions? Uh, healing potions we are very do good. The superior healing. Yeah. And. Do you have any items more than just scrolls? I, I have a potion belt. A scroll of the potions. Scrolls of potions. That's what we do. Scrolls of potions. You want a potion belt? You want a belt that can put potions in? You want a bandolier to put your scrolls in? That's I have one belt. of those. Oh, yeah. I see. I see. I see. Inferior quality, but, you know, it is. Sorry. They look exactly the same. <laughs> I do have the monies for healing potions if you we can do that. In the mindscape, uh let's let's have her talk him down on these prices. I, I think Alright, so I'm we're we're looking at purchasing as a as a group we are. I I, I think we're all of course, of course, we, of we course. talked about the potions, the the healing potions. Oh, uh, I think we're. we're when did you talk about the healing thing. potions? I haven't heard you say a single word to each other since you've been here. I just mentioned it before here. We were, we were talking speaking about, our about it on our I way. Just literally, just spoke and said that we were looking for some healing potions, and you said yes, you had healing potions, didn't I? Yes, of course, of course, of course, of course. And I was, I said, I was debating between getting the superior or getting a couple of. The greater, and you said, "Why don't I just get both?" And I think you're right. I think as a group, we should just get the superior and the greater healing potions. Um, now, your your prices here are uh, how firm are you on your 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 prices? Just out of curiosity, because I've heard great things about your uh, store here from just coming into Arkenvale recently, and we asked and. We were told, so I would love to spread more news about this wonderful shop. Your selection is amazing, and you go above and beyond to make what people are looking for. I'm more than happy to spread additional uh, news on such. I'm a, I, I must say that I like the way that you talk. I like the way that you choose. I like the way you talk about have our scrolls and potions. And you know what? I like, I, I like it. I'm, I'm going to give you a little bit of a discount, okay? I'll give you a discount. Anything in the store, I'm going to hook you up. I'm going to make sure that things are good to go. I'm going to make sure that you get a little bit of a fair price. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? That How about... sounds... I have the store locked. I'm like, I'm typing and it's not doing anything. 
All right. How's this sound? All right. Uh, so that brought it down, what, 50 gold? Or, oh, it's down 500 from where it was. That's not bad. All things considered, yeah, that's, you know, that's uh, that's fairly reasonable. Uh, I appreciate your uh, willingness to work with us and to to barter there. And again, like I said, if anyone comes and asks, we know where to send them. This is quite a... Greatest quite custom a scroll and potion shop in the planet. Mm, That's why I brought everybody here. Shudders a little bit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love yes. it. I love it. Uh, all right. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, uh... oh, yes. No, I definitely have fun. <clears throat> fun. <laughs> the money. Grok. Oh, the money. I have that too. Yes. <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll fund, fund this. <laughs> I'll find this fun a bit. Anyway, yeah, fun, I, I it's it it. fun, funny. <laughs> it's yeah, very I'll, funny. I'll it. Okay, so we just click buy, or uh, I think well, you just click the buy. Button. I have to. Yeah. I have to. Right. So yes. is that a mine? Yes. And will it auto auto pull? Pull? First time using it. Should auto deduct from you. It didn't auto deduct from. Oh, I have negative two thousand gold. So I'll. Okay. Yeah. Some, some, I can do that. Converting the platinums down to the golds. All right. Uh, well, thank you very much for curiosity. How how many days would it take to draw up a scroll of revivify? Uh, scroll of revivify. You put that on half now, and I could probably get you that uh, by tomorrow. Tomorrow. What 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 would half be? Give me just one second, I'll let you know. Of course, based on our already negotiated discount, correct? Of course, of course. <laughs> it's not letting me gotta... just edit my gold right now, but I should 22 platinum after that and then have five gold pieces left over. It'd be 304 gold. You got to use the new edit at the top. The treasure so, plus minus. 304 gold is the half. Or is that the total? Oh, sorry, that's the total price. Uh, so uh, 152 gold. All right, yeah. I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and put put down. Uh, I'll pay for that one out of uh, the 152. Just, just subtract oh. 152 for now. And then okay, let me go ahead and there. subtract 152 from my gold. How do I do that? So at the top of your inventory page, you'll see the uh, plus and minus. I see. Yeah, the the plus or minus button. Okay, and then so edit gold, it uh, 152. Okay. All right. All right. So I go ahead and I place down 152 coins. Wonderful. I'll be back tomorrow to it's pick up the scroll. Them over. Of course, of course. Always happy to do business. Make sure you get taken care of. Don't get, don't go too crazy now. Don't be going like, oh, well, and then you have to die today, and then you don't have to revive a fight tomorrow. No, That's it's how just we don't in have case. What if my customers has a heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, of course. That makes the most sense. Right, were you able to fix your? Yep, I'm good on gold now and platinum where I'm supposed to be. Okay. I had to move 221 platinum over to compensate for the 2,205 missing gold, which left me with five gold left over, and then my platinum's even, so we're good. So I have five gold pieces and then like 800 and some change in platinum. Okay. Oh. Korg and Jahanan are sitting on about the same amount of money now. How much platinum do you have? The other half. A little bit. God bless. I've just been spending mine, I guess. 
So I did buy her that magic item. I did buy her a magic item too. That jacket that she wears. <laughs> yes, but you also <laughs> sold Johnny. I didn't sell Johnny. We sold Johnny. No, no you sold Johnny and you kept the funds. So look, I also collect <laughs> funds over the dead bodies over the months, but nobody's complained yeah. about that. No, I'm not so much worried about that one. I didn't know how much money Drizar had per se, but it wasn't like it was a ton. The equivalent amount to Korg at the time. Yeah, yeah like maybe a couple hundred platinum is all. Like it wasn't like it was. Super it's what we had payment. from selling the ship. You know, everybody got their portions. But that was a lot. Way to start. Right. Small amount of a million dollars. Gee, <laughs> gee, way to go with the critical success on bargaining for selling the ship. And then it's thanks to you we don't have a port. port so right. <laughs> You know, I don't know why we didn't just... We cleared it out of all the zombies. Why didn't we just take that ship? If you were concerned that the plague would uh, cause too many issues. But it we took care of the plague. It was a different time back then. We didn't know what... It was still infested. Who knows what it could live on. Mm. After yeah. all, you know... Yeah, but with a with a couple with enough lesser restorations, I mean, eventually it would be cleared. Eh, whatever. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. We perhaps. didn't. Did we even have lesser restoration at the time? Yeah, but Belina had not. That's how, that's how we got out of that. Think, Is because Belina had lesser restoration. That's I, right. I think two of them did. Maybe Drazar did too. I don't remember. Because Drazar was divine soul, right? Yeah. All right, so I think that concludes our business in the potion and scroll shop. Uh, and then we wanted to go, a, you know, guard patterns, patrol patterns. Well, I want to search for magic items too. Do we want to find a magic item shop? Mr. I'd has like all the money. Can, I'd like to see if I can spend a little bit of this to improve me in some way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can... Uh, you know, uh, Ortho, there's... Uh, uh, just not too far from where you guys are at, known as Nazar's Marvelous Emporium. It's known to have all sorts of different uh, items from common uh, household uh, things to uh, like insane, like legendary artifacts of old. Maybe some candles that we can use to talk to people. Well, I already have candles. No need. Not not that type of candle, Korg. I I know where to go. All Let's right. head on over. Grok. Did you listen? Was I Your not right? Grok. That boy didn't breathe. You 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 currently look like you can't breathe. In our head we say as we walk. <laughs> what are you talking about? Belita <laughs> points to his reflection in one of the windows as we walk past. <laughs> what did you do to me? <laughs> 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 this is great. <laughs> great. I, I'm like kind of flexing you a little bit because I'm not used to being as buff. I'm mostly just big. It's kind yeah. of nice being skinny. Oh, could get used to this look. Yes, yes, Grok. Yes. Uh, no, you, you're the one that wanted to be disguised. I did? Not you. Oh, I did. I was, well, you did, but no, him. I mean, you couldn't make me into, like, one of the pretty people like the three of you? Well, I mean, it was the first thing that came to my head. I'm sorry. Maybe next time I'll fix it. This is not okay. <laughs> Jahanan just looks, is not so Jahanan looks in her reflection and goes, What? Not what we do, but it works. No, just think of it this way. People will not be looking at you at all. You pretty much are invisible right now, unless you talk. People will notice you, and then they will ignore you. 
they even looked away. Yes. That lady. <laughs> that is true. And it's ex it's like it's like social camouflage. Wait, do we have invisibility? That's the real camouflage. Right. Uh, I'm afraid not. No. Well, that's <laughs> okay though. But needless to say, you're that's like the perfect social camouflage. No one in high society like they recognize that you're someone that has power because of your armband, but then they're like, yeah, nope, don't want to associate with him. And then they ignore you, and you can do whatever. That's not exactly how I see it. Well, I mean, fix it next time. I can't change it now. It's too late. Or is it? Yes, it is. Okay, I didn't know. I'm not much curious. <laughs> or is it? Which yes. is why I said yes, it is. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I believe you. You wouldn't lie to me. I haven't yet. No, not once. Never in our whole friendship have you lied to me. No, not that I can think of. Do, do you want to roll deception check? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just believe you. <laughs> you don't have to try. I believe All you. All right. Okay. Now, she would never lie to me. She only tells truth. It just really seems like oh, I'm... something's wrong. Lie to me. Only tells truth. You, you don't have to make the voice inside your head crack. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh... Making our way to a magic item shop? Yes, indeed. Magic yes. Item. But uh, I'm going to intentionally For take them the longest way possible. <laughs> okay. Why? You do that. Well, but well while I'm walking, fish tacos? I'm going to be observing the guard rotations and patterns and such as we walk. There are a ton of uh, guards moving through the city now, kind of anxiously searching. Most of them travel in patrols of at least four. Uh, each one contains at least one uh, spellcaster, uh, one kind of fully decked out, uh, powerful looking uh, guard like you, similar to what you've encountered in other cities. And then... Uh, and then a few kind of like lesser kind of shield guards moving around, uh, interrogating various people, uh, asking uh, questions of people. It, it, it takes a bit of time for you to find your way uh, towards Nezar's marvelous emporium. And you come in, uh, eventually it looks like a very squat uh, building. You see smoke kind of rising from the distance uh, coming up. It looks like maybe some sort of uh, um, like a blacksmith shop or, or something of that semblance. As you walk inside, there's this kind of burly, stocking-looking dwarf uh, sitting behind the counter, and he, he looks up at you. He's like, Ugh. Don't get much of your kind here. As he sees the, uh, initially a uh, Belina and Jahana, but he looks up at Croc. He's like, Ugh. That's the man that we expect in the shop. There was what are you looking behind. for? Strapping lad. <clears throat> And you see that this shop is just the walls are lined with uh, armor, weapons, shields. Uh, there's display cases with jewelry, amulets, rings, uh, helmets, massive, like behind the counter, massive hammers. Uh, you see stones sitting in uh, boxes with upwards of five to six different magical arcane locks 
uh, locking things down, uh, vials filled with strange oils, wands, battle axes, uh, rods that like hum with palpable arcane energy. I'm gonna go look at the rings and jewelry. What do I see with my ethereal sight? Uh, you don't. I, you peer into the ethereal realm, and you know everything looks like this wispy, faded kind of gray uh, semblance in the room, but you don't see anything lingering in the ethereal realm. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yeah, what can I help you for? What you're looking for? New arms, armor, jewelry. We sell. The most wondrous magical artifacts you can find in all the realm here. Handcrafted by true master wizard smiths. Indeed. Guys, Would there's you... something I was supposed to remember about this place. Oh, really? Hmm. And he looks at you and... Yes, master wizard. <laughs> Any kind of grimaces looking. <laughs> like, uh... Um, do you happen to have... Do you room? have to eat that in here? <laughs> <laughs> He's actually walking around with a chicken. And... I just look... It's seeming. I can't drop it. <laughs> it's part of the illusion. <laughs> yep. I I try to drop it. It just... I guess it sticks. <laughs> His hands are very sticky. It's uh, all the, yeah. It's something it's not right. Fat. As he looks at you. It's it's all the congealed fat. I wouldn't worry about that too much. Um, do My you hands are that naturally any, sticky. Uh, rings of spell story. Ah, that I do, young ladies. That I do. Rare to find one, but here in Arkinvale, you can meet all your dreams. <clears throat> I, I've, really also, so. I've also heard tells of magic items such as candles that can send messages oh. long distances. I love this. Shopping uh, is the next. This is the coolest thing on the planet now. Right. Shopping. Shit, this is so cool. Such candles do exist. I might have a a pair that might not be on the shopping list as it's a handcrafted item that needs to be made from scratch. Uh. Yeah, we just dragged and dropped anywhere Ooh. for a cost. Yes. I, that's Set fair. That makes sense. What uh, what sort of, uh, I say, damages would uh, such items run normally? Uh, the candles? Indeed. Uh, only around 100 gold for a matched set. Oh, that's not terrible, I wouldn't say. Um, hmm. I, and how long would it take to craft? You said since it doesn't sit on the shelf normally. But perhaps I could have it available for you by the time we finish this transaction. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, I turn to Jahan and, and gesture to the ring of spell storing and the cost therein is a little bit above my pay grade currently. But I do know it's extremely useful. But if you don't think we need it, we do need the candles. And I can cover the cost of the candles without a problem. Play 10, 10 platinum for those. It might take until to tomorrow for these candles. Perhaps I don't have them already. All right. So it can store up to five levels worth of spells at a time. Right. So that's, that's two second level cure wounds that I don't have to cast. Yeah. And then one first level something that you could put in. You could put a first level witch bolt or a first level something even. And I mean, you could wear it or I could wear it and we could just use it. If I, I can load it with the two second level cure wounds and you can have them on you in case you need them or. Uh, you can load them with healing words. No, nah, I mean, eh. Because you have to touch for cure. What's the what's the cap on attunement again? Three. Three. 
So I couldn't do it. I already have three attunements. I also already have three attunements. I don't know how many I have. I think only two. Or one, even. It's just my cloak, right? Oh, wait. Does my hammer require attunement? Uh, your moon blessed hammer? Yes. I that's the don't only believe so. question. Because other than that, I only have my cloak of protection. No, no, it does. Friend. And you're, you're attuned to it. Okay, so I'll. The cloak of protection and the moon blessed mall. Okay. So I mean, we could give the ring to Korg, and if we put two second level cure wounds in it, he can heal himself as in just a touch. No. You don't no. want it? There are other items in the shop that Korg desperately wants, and I hope right. they don't require a tomb for the love of God, they're beautiful. But also, I don't know if you guys noticed the Rod of Resurrection. It's incredibly expensive, but it's here. Um, we couldn't afford it because it's 68,000 gold pieces, but it's here. What? The Rod of Resurrection is 136,000. Yeah. I see 68,223 gold pieces. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the cost, not yeah. the item cost in the shop. The regular little, cost. Little brain over here. I'm still Korg. Chill, chill, chill. It's cool. Anyway, uh, I... Bad. It does require a tune that... Ugh. Uh, I, I mean, really like you look quite here. excited. And man such as yourself you got quite a hammer on your back there look like a strong lad I think interest you in it looks like you have the backing of some uh, some decent people here the portly wizard and a, a sorcerer perhaps you have some money to your name he gestures to this massive uh, hammer it's framed in like this huge glass case, uh, intricate maul. Uh, the face of the weapon depicts the image of a bearded dwarf, and it's been set with large, brightly glowing gems, uh, an intricate pattern of like lightning bolts uh, running through it. Korg, belt of hill giant strength. Oh, shh, shh, shh. No, keep talking. Is this what I think it is? No. Damn it, I thought we were going to bring back the hammer I never got to use. No. <laughs> no. This is the hammer for that. Uh, this hammer is better. I don't have the stats No, that it's anymore. not because I didn't make it. Damn it. Uh, I this is it. No, belt, yeah, belt I, of Hill Giant Strength, Korg. Your strength will become 21. Yes, I mean, yes, yes. It says you can't even use the hammer of Thunderbolts unless you have the belt of Hill Giant Strength and Gauntlets of Ogre Power. Oh, well. Yeah. That's to get the Giant's Bane bonuses. Ah, okay. Uh, pretty much to get all the bonuses, you have to have both Gauntlets of Ogre Power and a Belt of Giant Strength. So it's a... Mm, I don't really... Yeah, I don't really see the... This thing insta-kills Giants, right? Yeah. If you crit them, they have to make a Constitution saving throw or die. Holy shit! <laughs> Giants isn't our problem here, but I'll tell you, I'm tempted. But we don't have that kind uh, of money, guys. No, we don't have. It can that also money. unleash uh, thunder claps that like stun people and so like my ass cheeks. You can throw it and make rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's good. I love it. Sorry, sorry. I actually legitimately want this. We just there's no way on earth we're ever gonna afford it. It is a legendary item. So to the be fact fair, though. Even Purchase I'd, legendary items. Yeah, and I'd have to give up my special given to me by my parents' hammer that has sentimental value. That you've slowly been enchanting all this time. Yeah. Accidentally? It wasn't I supposed said... to be. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, oops. All right. Oops. Uh, it's magic. What do I do? All right. I'm all right. Pretty positive that it wasn't an accident. The that you upgraded time. your. Uh... Yeah, second the second time. time. Yeah, you're right. The second one was uh -huh. not an accident. My, uh, my kobolds are done 3D printing. So I really like the hammer, but I have a special hammer that my mom and dad gave to me, and I don't really want to, to move uh, away from it. I understand, lad. Sentimental value. Yes, you ever want what... me to do an overhaul on your hammer and give it a real oomph? You let me know. I see it's got... He kind of pulls like one monocle, like you see, he's got like oh, these. I'll actually pull it out and hold it out. But they have two. different lenses, 
and there's like five or six different lenses, and he slots one in as he looks at it. He's like, ah, oh, powerful enchantment you have there already. It's like, never seen one quite like that. Like someone took a flame touch, but somehow blessed it with radiant moon energy, is that? Uh, it is. Speaks of the Silvash, I think. It kind of really sits good. on the side of it. Yeah, like, oh, Silvash are good. But they ain't as good as my kin. Could you make it better? Ah, of course I could. What what kind of person is this? It's a dwarf. Oh, okay. Not too old, like thick black beard, long black hair, all braided like together. Like different braids. Uh, so early. I will have to pass on the hammer. But I'm very tempted to hear what you can do for this current hammer to make better. But I also was wondering if you had something to improve, um, like, my ability to survive longer. You see, and I'll gesture to the ones around me, I am the one who takes most damages. And it's... It would be better for parties, you know, traveling companions, if I could take even more damages. Ah, I think I've got just the thing for you, lad. And towards one of the, uh, the boxes off on the side that has this pearly white spindle-shaped stone carved and highly polished. Inside, there's about six uh, arcane locks on this case and it the case itself is like welded and fused to the table as he gestures at it he's like this baby right here keep anyone alive for any amount of time uh it blesses you with an innate power like a troll rising regenerating from the anything that may happen and hurt you Um, it's a little bit out of our price range. <laughs> I, I will say I have it some took money. Me but five years just to craft this single stone. You'll never find anything like it in the rest of all of its colliers. I, I, I think your price range needs to be leading more towards that belt of hill dry drink. <laughs> yes. What does this do? Uh, this belt? Ah, uh, you might like this belt, lad. And he kind of takes it off the wall, and it's this, like, uh, belt sitting there. He's like, uh, me and the lads one day went out, decided to head over to this island by the name of Grenthal. Did a little bit of giant hunting to test out some of our new weapons, such as the hammer on the back. Didn't want to waste good giant skin, so we forged ten of these belts here out of hill giant flesh, imbued them to grant you the strength of the very giant themselves when you wear it. Now that is something I would very much like to see. Uh, how, how much is that one? Uh, for you, lad. Ah, uh, ain't that much. Only a little over a thousand gold. Oh, that is that is very affordable. Yes, okay. it's the last one I got in I stock. He, right. Got, I sold most of the rest to pass. And to be fair, we're working on a, a bit more powerful one. The hill giants were a bit too easy to slay when we used the hammer. Now we're hunting cloud giants on our next foray. The end of the summer is going to be a good time for me and the lads. The cloud giant? There are different kinds? Oh, hey. Lots of different kinds of giants. But they all fall to the trusty hammer and to the wizards and the warriors of my clan. Well, I am very much in love with what you have here now. Maybe I'll take this one, and then we'll come back. You said at summer? Oh, uh, yeah. The end of the summer. Maybe we'll try to come back then later and see if there are 
better ones later. But for now, I like this one. All right, and the candles. Uh, Where are the also, candles? He hasn't added them into the list yet. Okay, okay, okay. You can just there... do that on the side, and I'll I'll get you okay. the info. Okay, I'll just subtract. I'll just subtract. Uh, 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 you said how much? Or a hundred gold. Hundred. So right. ten pat platinum, right? So yeah, let me go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And then, um, uh, what about, um, I like this belt, but uh. What about something else for, like, maybe that I can keep getting hit and not go down as quickly that might make me a little stronger uh, when it comes to getting hit often? The best solution to getting hit is to not get hit at all. You're like, huh, I see you're a man who likes to wield a two-handed weapon, much mm -hmm. as myself. And that means that you can't protect yourself with a fine shield. Uh, but my brothers and I thought of that. Came up with this ingenious solution. You see, and he takes this kind of shield off the wall and he places it down. You take this shield, and if you utter the word, and he whispers to it or low enough where you can't really hear it too well. What was that? Can't hear with 26 perception? <laughs> and it's in dwarfish. Do you speak dwarfish? Uh, I no, I don't think I do. No, you're... I do. You'll hear it. You do hear this dwarfish word and the shield springs to life and begins hovering in front of him. It, 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 this shield here can animate so you can still use a two-handed weapon such as your mall, and help block incoming blows. It's a fine, fine thing to have, lad. I had the money <laughs> at the last store, and I don't now because I spent it on potions. Well, I mean, you can always <laughs> ask your heart. How much is that? Money. It's going to be a thousand platinum because it's uh, about... 10,000 gold. How so it'll much? be 1,008 platinum and some change. How much platinum do you have left? Because I have 836. I'm, mm, I'm actually thinking, because I really do absolutely want this, but this is probably something that yeah, requires attunement, requires attunement for the, the thing. And it, it would only yep. give me a plus one to what I already have, because I have a um, cloak of protection. As much as I would absolutely... It combines with the cloak of protection. It does combine. I, I get yeah, that. Yeah, you'd have to lose the cloak of protection. To yeah, get. I'd have to lose. Yeah. yeah, so I'm basically sacrificing a thousand platinum for one extra. Unless he's willing to, to maybe make a trade. So, so I do have uh, a magic item that already gives me a little bit of shielding. Uh, I only sell my own works in this shop. I'm not interested in the that's inferior fair. work of others. That's fair. Then I honestly I don't think it'd be quite worth it to make a thousand platinum trade for one AC. Um, what about this? I'm I'm interested. It's hard for me to try to role play core, but I'm interested in this amulet of health. Uh, what might this do? Uh, it looks. It makes you hardier. Gives you. A, a nice boost to your health makes you able to ward off blows a little better, stay in the fight a little longer, shrug off the effects of poison, uh, gives you a hearty constitution. I really like this. Similar to the belt. Wait, isn't your AC based off of your constitution? No. No? Is it's a flat set AC because of my shell. Portal. Yep, oh, set because okay. of my shell, so it doesn't move. But right now, my AC is already 19. It dropped to 18 if I substituted out the cloak of protection for the amulet of health, but my health would go up considerably. Yeah. Because I only have a 14 con, so it'd go up two hit points per level, and I'm 10 levels in. So, what, 20 hit points? Yeah. I don't know if that's super worth it for one AC. It's kind of a back and forth on that one, really. Because uh, it requires a two-man as well. 
Yeah. So it's two hit points per level. So your your car will go up to nineteen, which is a plus five. It plus four. Plus four. Points at the cost of one AC. Yeah, and that's kind of almost almost a direct trade off. I feel it's not like it's super super great. But you get those additional plus two hit points every level up. Yes, and I take half damage when I'm raging. Yeah. So it's it's it could be considered 40 HP almost when not really really but almost indirectly translates to 40 HP. Yeah. So it's kind of worth it, which is almost an extra it's a third more of my health. I'd have a whole third of my health added to what I already have. Yeah. Like in the way of I don't know. It's it's not quite like that. It's it's whatever. Are Quark's boots anything special or are they just standard boots? Standard boots. Standard boots. I'm seriously considering buying a pair of boots for you if they happen to be in size Toral? ginormous. Boots of elven kind? Yeah, give him the dex or give him the stealth. Which is so his biggest issue. Helpful. They don't require attunement. Exactly. Help me because I am really, really bad at sneaking. I know. I'm going to buy him. Interested in these boots, lass? Take some down. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Salvashi craftsmanship, but do you recognize I know a thing or two about moving through their tree villages quite well? So Lab and I paid them a visit one time. Modeled this after their sneaky ways. I find it very fascinating. I'm actually thinking about gifting it to that one, and she points over to Korg. He has a tendency to make so much noise while we're out and about. I, I could see that. Big lads, we make a lot of noise. That's half the fun! <laughs> In certain situations, I would tend to agree that, yes, making noise is indeed half the fun, but... Always. It's always worth making loud noise. That's how you show people that you're excited! You well, know what I'm talking about. He looks you up and down. I can tell. Indeed. I'm always one for making a scene. Hey, your kind usually are. <laughs> All right. What, does anybody else in this party would they benefit from me passing along the, the cloak of protection over to them? Is it an, it's an attuned item, isn't it? It is. And you gain one armor. Yeah, one plus AC. Plus one to armor and plus one to save. Yeah. I mean. That it would, would always not help us. Be worth exchanging. It would not be worth exchanging any of my current attunements. What about Ortho? What all are you attuned to? I have uh, my headband and my cloak of displacement. I'm already yeah, wearing. You already have a cloak. So okay. No, the cloak of displacement yeah. is considerably better than the cloak of protection. Yeah. No. Like yeah. considerably. I'd rather have someone roll at disadvantage to attack me than roll and get a plus one AC to my AC. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'll wear two I, cloaks. I agree. No, I agree. Yeah, but no, I would much rather have the cloak of displacement. I wish we had some place we could mm. sell. Um, we can we can look for that later. I, I'm gonna for yeah. now. I'll take the belt of hill giant strength. Absolutely, that's that's coming with me. And I'm kind of I'm... filling the immovable rod. Okay. But for now, buy the belt real quick, just so that you have it. Okay. I will buy the belt. I don't have the gold pieces, so let me do some. I converted it already for you. Okay. Cool. I have hey, a convert to under uh, platinum up to 2,000 gold for you. Perfect. Hey. Bye. Ortho, gonna... do you need a spell oh, book that can't awesome. catch on fire? I already have one. <laughs> okay. Um, but I, too, uh, agree about the immovable rod. I've been eyeballing it for the past few minutes. Yeah. yeah. Rod that, would, something. that would help us escape if we needed to. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get the boots for Korg. Alright, how do I... Tra I've gotta transfer platinum into gold. 
how do I do this? You just, what you do is click the plus and minus, and then, you know, minus 10 platinum and plus 100 gold, you know, so and so for as much as you need. Okay, so mine. Good, sir. Now, I understand that you're not interested in the magic items created by inferiors other than yourself, which is fair. Your craftsmanship here speaks for itself. This is amazing. However, would you be interested in purchasing such magic items just for the sake of dissecting them so that you can improve upon them to sell your own versions? Need such items to dissect? Well, I, it's My brothers never... and I have forged artifacts the Emperor himself has bought. I believe it. A hundred percent, I believe it. But expanding your repertoire, increasing your business profit gain margin, it never hurts. Roll me persuasion with disadvantage. Okay, sure thing. Um, I know you say you don't want, you know, un, un, not very great craftsmanship. But I'm going to pull out an ornate battle axe. There's nothing magical about this, but it seems like it's very dwarfish to me. <laughs> did I he do my conversion it. right? I'm tired. Yeah, you did it right. All right, good. Uh, roll me uh, a tile core. Me? Ooh. So I got a 21. After <laughs> rolling a one right down five, the middle, four. baby. <laughs> uh, not interested That's in your items, lady. No, that was to Belina. Oh, all right. Uh, let me see this axe. I'll pass it over to him. It's just uh, not an axe, just special looking. Right. Well made. That Dorvin. Hmm. Looks maybe. Ah, uh, yeah. If you look at the Smith mark here, ah, uh, this is a human that tried to learn from the dwarfs. A little bit too frilly here. These runes are carved wrong. See? In the Dorvin alphabet, uh, this spells. <laughs> he laughed. He's like. It says idiot Smith. Ah. Oh, ah. it was a prank ah. they played ah. on him. Ah. 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 <laughs> You're right. That's funny. Ah, ah. Shieldman. Ah. Oh, it's trying to be Smith. <laughs> Don't even know dwarf and runes. So still. I'll stick it back in my bag then, unless. He's interested in buying it as a joke to laugh at humans, but I'll take it back in my bag. Uh, he'll take it. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll buy it. This is a funny story. I'll show my brothers in the back. All right. I'll remove it from my inventory. I don't know how much it's actually worth. I just... A couple gold pieces probably is all. I'll give you five gold. Sweet. All right, your bits of elven kind are in the party sheet. Five gold pieces. Add coins, baby. Uh, I just decided to offload it. I, I was just holding on to it forever. And the uh... oh man. The only other thing is the rod and one of the wands. Oh, it's so which wand? Either magic missiles or war mage? Wait, wand of secrets. What does it? Hold on. You pretty much have that innately. Yeah. Well, I mean, I kind of do, kind of, but at the same time, this is a, it tells you that there is and where versus a, I'm fairly certain there's something here, but I can't find it. <laughs> All right. Um, 
I think for me, the only thing that I'm left interested in is what you might be able to do for my hammer. Well, mall. Put it on the counter, lad. Put the mall down. He starts flipping through different lenses. Well, the enchantment that gives it its radiant power is it's pretty decent, but it's infused with a base aether energy that I could strengthen and make more powerful. Uh, able you to maybe punch a little harder, hit a little better. On a numeric scale, we might say, uh, going from a one to a two. Okay. It, it then, gets a little easier. If if you wanted me to, I could change out these this runic infusion to change the the way it deals damage to some other enchantment. I could remove these moon powers from it and give it something different. Would it still hit hard like it does with the moon power now? Well, it depends what you want. What do you want it to do? Mm. If you can imagine it, I can make it. I think I'm really interested in just making it hit easier. Like, maybe not more damage, but more chance that I hit stuff. Well, I can do that. Um, I don't know what your pricing is, but what would your estimate be for something like that? That's a big word. Okay. Just a... I could do that for you. Making a modification about... 3,000 gold. Quite a fair deal, if I must say so myself. This kind of enchantment usually runs closer to 7,000 gold, but seeing as you have most of it, I'm just infusing it to try to make this one better. Um, you know what? I do like that. Let's do that. Uh, how long do you think it would take, though? Oh, I can have it ready for you on the morrow. Just have to pass it on to my brothers in the back. Okay, yeah, let's do that again. I'll absolutely do that. That's going to be 30 platinum pieces? 300 platinum. 300 platinum pieces. Oh, 300 platinum. Okay, 300 platinum pieces. Yeah. He holds out his hand. All payments up front. Okay. Uh, mm, uh, there's some platinum here, and... Uh, there's more platinum here. Uh, uh, are we close? Somebody help me. He counts out 300 platinum okay. worth of coins and flies the rest back to you. He's like, uh, brains aren't this one strong suit, huh? It is most certainly not what we keep him around for. But we do like, like to keep him around. Flexing in a reflection of the mirror over there. <laughs> 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 yeah, not paying any attention, but oh yes, braids and stuff. When you pick it up tomorrow, it'll be a plus two. Awesome. All right, um, plus one. I'm telling awesome. you, we need. Have you ever thought about taking a lance and imbuing it as a magical conductor that you can cast cure wounds through, so that you can cast cure wounds from ten feet away? Want to make essentially a giant ten foot whole staff of healing. Indeed, yes. That you could just reach out and touch someone like an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> you should feel bad about that. You should feel awful bad now. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh my god. I just took psychic damage because of you. It was because of you. The oh, dad no, jokes I... are allowed. <laughs> 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 
Uh, and psychic vicious, damage. Vicious mockery level I'm, 15. I'm legit taking it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 oh my god. But no, seriously now. Uh, the effectiveness of this, because as a healer that has to move around the battlefield, that you're, you, when you have only have to say to, to to get up to someone in order to do some really effective healing, if you can't get close enough, if you just need to reach out and touch someone, bad. I don't know. Or, sorry, last. I don't know how to explain this to you. When you cast a spell from a magic artifact, uh, perhaps you didn't go to one of the academies, like uh, like the Tower of Kalash, or maybe you went to Greenvale University or some sort. <laughs> Gross. Uh, exactly. But you channel the magic from the staff into yourself. Then you must still physically touch the person. It's not so touching you them with the staff. That's not how magic works. Your so best you can't, bet would be to you can't channel cast through. Uh, no. You can't channel through an object, is what you're telling me. There's you can no channel way. through another person, such as a familiar that you've tied to. You. I see. Interesting. I'm wondering, are there any magic artifacts that bind familiars to you if you're not of the arcane tradition, such as uh, the good mage over here that could possibly cast that. Well, but that is an interesting hypothesis, in fact. There are many objects that can summon mystical beings. He calls out this onyx dog figure mm -hmm. placed on the counter. Such as this figurine of wondrous power. Perhaps if we change the aether energy within... Uh, we could channel it to create a familiar type spell so that you could summon and bind a familiar unto yourself. Because being able to reach out and help my friends, as it were, from further away would be such a, a huge benefit in so many situations. That and I'm true. sure that... you could understand when you go on your giant hunts, you have you probably have, I would imagine, a cleric of some sort traveling. Yes, with and you. they tend to pray to the aspects for spells that don't require them to touch people. <laughs> uh, words yes. of healing or yes. divine powerful spells of mystical energy that they can cast from far away. Yes. Not very but... many people use touch spells. Unfortunately, I mean, I have spells of, of healing words, but they're, they're less effective than the ones when you can get up close. Well, I didn't know how to say this, but just get good. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're not normally, like, as you can see, I'm a bard, blessed by a muse, as everyone seems to like to state the, the terms. And while, while muses give us the ability to, to heal our friends and help our allies, it's, it's not as easy for us as those given of the more uh, divine healing or even, in some cases, the, the arcane... What's that? Uh, I know there's an arcane school for healing. I don't know. What is it called? Not thaumaturgy. Um, transmutation in your head. No, not not transmutation. No, I mean transmutation. No, I'm talking about the actual school, not transmutation. But there's an actual. Didn't that not make it out of unearth arcana? I thought it did. Um, think... like regenerates transmutation. Huh? Yeah. I don't know, but whatever the case may be. So the divine magics and whatnot. Some. Um, wizards have access to such spells, I would imagine, but the higher level healing never really comes to us through our muses, really. Uh, maybe you should just get 
inspired better. <laughs> uh, you, you certainly have You're a right. of humor. Barb no. Lady Hat. People who worship the aspects are a dime a dozen. You pay for the people who worship the aspects? You can hire them, yes. Hmm. Interesting. All right, well, uh, no, thank you for your insight. And I guess we'll be back tomorrow for the mall and for the uh, candles, yes? So, I'll have them ready for you first thing in the morning. Thank morning. you very much. Have a nice evening. Bless you. Well. Take care, lad. And uh, with that, we'll take our bid break. Sweet. Right. We'll return in uh, 15 minutes, everyone. I can't believe I suckered you all in.
Is that a real and thing? welcome back to our Skies of Icarus campaign. A slightly longer break than normal, but uh, we we're taking care of some business, making sure we were good to go. And you guys have just left uh, some various shops, spent quite a bit of money uh, outfitting yourselves on items and goods and stuff like that. What are you guys looking to do uh, for the rest of today? Uh, you can't pick up some of those items until. Tomorrow. So, then, uh, uh, like I had said before, uh, I'd like to take the time to try and get a little closer to the palace, see what the wall structure is set up, the entry exit points, uh, the the guard shift rotations and patterns. Just trying to blend in and look around. Uh, what roles are you going to need from us in order to properly uh, investigate or perceive? All of this information. Also, how long does seeming last? Eight hours. Eight hours. Okay. Just making sure. Go ahead and make a deception check. Okay. For you, like, trying to not really get noticed by the guards and stuff like that. Okay. Deception. All... Uh, actually, you know what? Just give me one sec. I'll just push group roll out. Uh, all right. Uh, so you guys uh, move around, blending relatively seamlessly. Uh, Borg stands out. A little bit, but you're able to catch him every once in a while. Usually he's like flexing in windows as he goes by. Kind of like, oh, ha, look how strong I am. Ha ha. But you guys rein him in quickly. And you guys manage to, uh, to blend in <laughs> relatively well as you move through uh, the crowded streets, getting kind of closer to the more aristocratic area. Um, as you start to approach the richer neighborhoods, you notice more and more of the colored armbands are have bands of gold on them and you do start to stand out more uh people start kind of looking at you uh they kind of raise their eyebrows every once in a while oh. uh, nobody really accosts you or, or stops you they just you look a little out of place uh wandering through this area a few just people whisper giving, every once in a while. Giving appropriate head bobs and bows and honorifics uh, as as, uh, as necessary uh, and and trying not to seem too out. But like looking like we're tourists trying to see what the upper 1% does. Yeah, you managed to slip through relatively uh, unaccosted, right? But your passage is noticed a bit by people. Um, with your 26 perception, you do hear various whispers coming from around you. They're like, they're just, their master lets them travel through this district unescorted. So scandalous. Oh, I wonder which noble just lets these people just walk through. They don't have an escort. They don't have any servants with them. What's going on? Uh, but nobody like outright like says anything to your face. It's just one of those things where like they just let the riffraff like walk through. Whatever noble that is, is you know, it's gonna be a, a scandal, a future kind of deal. Oh, that then they, that's just more rumors for them to spread around in their rumor mill. Yeah, more yeah. gossip. More gossip yeah. for the for the uh, the gabbers, as it were. Uh, uh, you get a few comments here and there. They're like, "Oh, whoever they are, they must have strange tastes." Uh, look at the porch, portly halfling and a tall, slender, fiery-haired woman. Like, they're like, "Oh, I wonder if it's Master Joffrey." He's Quite the interesting fellow. His parties are all the rage. Have you gotten an invitation lately? No, I haven't. What are you talking about? Uh, after journeying quite a bit, uh, 
almost an hour's journey kind of moving through the city uh in the distance kind of towards the edge of arc Grand vale you see this massive towering structure uh there's a single road that seems to lead up towards where this edifice is with sheer cliffs along kind of the sides all around it almost like it was raised up from the normal island to make sure that it stood above all other people with this highly slanted kind of cobblestone path leading towards a massive circular stone wall covering a complex that's almost like a quarter of the size of the city itself uh, from where you can tell uh, dozens of towers and structures high above the walls kind of looming out even during the daytime you can see the flickering light of eldritch illumination uh, that illuminate multiple guards patrolling the walls all bedecked uh, from what you can tell even with your excellent perception from a distance uh, in resplendent gear, maroon and gold throughout, uh, crisp lines. The uh, guards patrol semi irregular patterns. Uh, they don't move with the traditional, like, uh, back and forth here, there. They kind of vary their patterns as they go around. There are guard houses stationed across the battlements roughly every 30 feet. And the guards move between them at irregular times with a singular guard atop each battlement that looks around, kind of moving in a circle, checking both inside and outside Okay. along those battlements. All right. Um, as far as the entry point, it's apparent that there's only the one road that goes up, right? No big deal there. Do we see any, like, patrols moving up the road to check in up at the top at any point in time? Uh, if you hang out long enough, uh, you do see occasionally some patrols uh, move up. None of them appear to go inside, however. What okay. you do notice is that there seems to be a clear-cut distinction in the uniforms of the palace guards and the uniforms of the regular city guards. Right. Uh, the palace guards are shinier. They, they have better gear, uh, more emphasis. Uh, their armor itself is painted in the maroon and gold, whereas the regular city guards have regular armor with just gold tabards. Um, you don't really see much in the way of actual bedecked in their guard gear moving uh, inside the palace gate. Okay, so... But you do see a, a line of people move in and out. Okay. Very regularly. Uh, okay. It looks like craftsmen, laborers, uh, trades people, they kind of move in, stop at the gate, get checked, and then kind of wait. Okay. All right. Um, uh, of the the guards on the the, the, the uh, parapets and everything, uh, their armbands, do they also, so the guards of the palace, do they have nobility of among the guards, or are they all just regular straight bands for them as uh, well? From the distance you're at, you can't really make out the arm okay all right you're just you'd have to get close. that's fair that's fair um because i don't think any of you ever bought us one but maybe Jahanan did one did what buy a spyglass oh, you guys still don't have a spyglass yeah we do we have two of them who's got it they're on the ship <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. wouldn't it make us kind of suspicious if we were just like walking around aiming a spyglass at the tower, specifically at the guards? It's true. It would be very Probably, suspicious. yeah. I'm just saying, without a spyglass, you can't tell from the distance. Okay, that's fine. So, they let craftsmen and everything in, but there's probably a time frame when that stops, right? That the palace gate gets closed, I would assume? Probably. All right. It would be um, safe to assume that, though you haven't actually seen that. All right. Um, so, uh, da -da 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 -da. what was I thinking? So we got eight hours on the seeming. We've been out for maybe three at three. this point. At, at least three. All right. And how long is it until dusk? Uh, it's still early morning. Okay. Set up right away. Okay. 
so we won't be able to be out here at nighttime with this up. That's fine. Um, I start heading. Uh, uh, I got enough information for now to kind of figure out what's going on. Uh, I have an idea of what we could do to try and get in. Uh, so, um, I just what's, need. Uh, what's that idea? Need to, so I'm thinking, uh, and I'm thinking through the telepathy. We we should uh, head back to. Oh, you uh, totally have to recast telepathy by this point. I don't, I don't. Oh yeah, it's only good for an hour. I'm oh, it's asking. only good for an hour. Okay, so we don't have telepathy. So I uh, I gesture. Uh, towards... Telepathy is a ritual, though, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we can't do that here. Minutes. To... To, yeah. So we do it. But... I mean, yeah, if we want to gonna... go sit down on a park bench. And you're gonna dance around casting a ritual in the middle of a park? Ah, uh, let the smelled mines. Do you not know where we are? Uh, we're in Arkenvale in the Noble District, and none of us have noble stripes on our bands. Yeah, but magic gets cast all the time here. You, no, we're gonna go ahead and head back to the Order for now. And we'll discuss there. Yeah? All right. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So you guys head back uh, to order of time. It takes uh, with a direct route uh, close to two hours to get back. Okay. So... Well, once we're back, uh, I, uh, after we're inside, I go ahead and I drop seeming. Um, and yeah, once we're out of sight of nosy people that I would perceive with my 26 perception, um, that I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and drop seeming. And Can you just drop a non-concentrate? Is it? A, uh, I don't know. Can you? I don't know. Let me see. I thought it said something about a bonus action. I mean, the spell. Seeming actions, spells, seeming information. Uh, I am willing creature. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The changes wrought by this spell. Physical effect. If you built add, had a conflict, blah, 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 blah. A creature can use its action to inspect the target, make an intelligence investigation check. Uh, I don't think you could drop it. I think you just stuck looking. Yeah, I think stuck as human figures for the next eight hours. Well, or for eight hours, three more hours now. Yeah. yeah well. All right. Well, uh, once we're back in, it'll drop eventually. That's no big deal there. Um, so here's what i'm thinking so the night of the party right is when we're going to be trying to to do our break-in i'll do my performance i'll exit the stage uh the baron will give his you know kudos speeches whatever and hobnobbing and we'll discreetly leave um and we can go ahead and use seeming again uh, says you can. Okay, or it requires concentration. You decide to end it. Okay, all right. So, um, what I'm thinking is, um, based off of now with the guards that we've seen roving around the patrols, have there been any like orange sash I, guards? As you're all? discussing uh, this person, was like, "Who are you? What are you doing inside here?" Oh. It, don't worry about it. Oh. Wait, who said that? Who who said it? Random dude. Just some random guy. I, okay. Uh, I'm ortho. Dear God, how much did you eat on your last assignment, ortho? You well, should, at least <laughs> you should know better. This is this is spell cast. Ah, uh, uh -huh. illusion magic. Yes, yes, you're stuck in it, aren't you? Mm. Uh, I remember. When I used to not carry around a wand of dispel, and I was stuck in my illusions. <laughs> Amateurs. And he walks away. 
speaking of dispel, does anyone have dispel magic? I do. Do you want me to drop it? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, using dispel magic to drop it then. All right. That will uh, fire a check. It would require a check unless she casts it using her fifth level slot, which I wouldn't recommend. So, yes, roll the check. <laughs> okay. Right. Just roll a charisma check. It's going to fill your stuff as humans forever. Right. Being dumb, I dropped it in the box like I'm supposed to and decided to go roll way elsewhere. Alright, and seeming is just dumb. Alright. Well, now that that's done with. So, chances are there may be several nobles that attend the, uh, the party. Possibly even some of the members of the palace court. What I'm thinking is if there are members in attendance for the palace court, we can adjust our seeming to appear as that member and their entourage and return to the palace before them. This will give us time while they're still down here hobnobbing to enter into the palace as them and then get inside and do what we need to do until... Once they, the real ones get back, obviously they'll send up an alarm. But we have, hopefully, at least 30 minutes for the Wayfinder to point the way to where the uh, Stone of Aether is being kept. Well, uh, don't we need some kind of layout of the, of the building? Well, if we have the Wayfinder, we just, we'll know the general direction and we can try and work our way through. Uh, at keeping up seeming, we'll allow us to hopefully pass most places without too much accostment. But again, that's depending on whether or not someone from the palace or of that level of nobility is in attendance. We have to maybe have the Baron and verify that he invites a couple of people, not Prince Rakeef, uh, from the palace to attend the party so that we may have a couple options to utilize. All right. I mean, maybe we go as go as uh, nobles and palace guards or something. Possibly, we could utilize a couple palace guards. If some come as escorts for the for people from the palace, then we can get a better look of what their uniforms are, you know, look like. Because I couldn't get a clear view from the distance that we were at, uh, and then I can adjust the seeming appropriately. But without more precise description making an accurate copy would be difficult so it would make sense we need to go speak with the baron and ensure that he's inviting the appropriate level of people that we can copy and move from there well what if we have the baron just invite only the order members and the prince and then when the prince is there, he thinks no, he's at a high society gathering. And the, then, prince, the problem is on our walk. Conk him out cold. The, the problem is on our walk. I, I heard that. several of the standard nobles that we passed in the no, noble district uh, already speaking of receiving invites. So that plan is shot right the hell out of the water. Uh, so, and I doubt that the prince being Prince Rakeef uh, would walk into such a simple and obvious trap um if no one else of the royalty received invites except for him it would be rather suspicious especially considering what has just transpired recently he is probably going to be on a higher level of guard then we kill him hopefully eventually he's proving to be more of a nuisance than worthwhile but again speaking of killing a prince is uh not looked well upon in these parts so let's save that option for later when we see let's him do next. what they accused us of <laughs> yeah, isn't there some rule about like double jeopardy or something <laughs> where like we already got tried for it right we were convicted eh? I'm just kidding sorry Patrick saw that yeah uh, anyways uh, so 
again, uh, we need to go speak with the Baron and ensure that he's inviting people of the appropriate stature as well so that we have plenty of options to adjust the seeming as appropriate in order to gain entry without too much costment. Hmm. I don't know about this plan. What don't you know about this plan? There's there's like a lot of extra details that were missing. Well, that we have a whole nother day to work out additional details. What details are you missing? I totally understand all of what you just said, but just in case I wasn't listening, say it one more time. <laughs> we're going to pose as nobles and their guards and walk into the palace. And then to leave, we're going to use the transportation circle from inside the palace to teleport directly to Greenvale so we can get on our ship and fly the f away. Short and simple. That's the base idea. There are more levels of detail, which we can go over and adjust as necessary. Um, but... Uh, for right now, I think we're doing fairly well on just the base plan, and we need least need to talk to the Baron now to ensure that the appropriate invites are sent. And then we can work on additional details from there. Oh, oh I, I remember something. Uh, you can't change the bands with magic. I see. Uh, we're going to have so to use can't... paint. Okay, so we'll have to physically alter the bands. That probably won't work either, but, you know, I, that's what I got. Well, I mean, we have a day. Let's, we'll at least try it out. And if that doesn't work, then perhaps we can convince one of the nobles from the palace to take us there. We just need uh, sponsor right if we can say pull one to the side and I don't know talk sweetly perhaps or you're going to need somebody like a baron's rank to get up in there because uh, you know you ain't going to get no one striper to get us up in the palace no oh, that's I'm why sorry. we're going to have someone from the palace take us into the palace all right we we we're working off a lot of unknown information, I believe. We, we, we're going to have to gather some information. Do we have, are there archives that we can access in order to gain information on the current state of the palace affairs and royalty? Well, um, I, I think we got something. Uh, I mean, the library has a lot of information. Yeah. So we can do some research, those of us who are good at that sort of thing, doesn't doesn't bother looking at court. Um, that just feels like you're targeting me now. It's <laughs> a lot of hate coming from that general <laughs> rabbit area. Uh, she still hasn't lied to you. Um, whatever the case may be, we can work out the plan some more but what we need is a way to enter during the later hours obviously the standard city guards go up they check in at the gate and they have to leave so we can't just pose as standard city guards we'd what have about, to do something more what about that um built a door in the wall okay here's what we do we go ask the Baron who's stationed at the castle currently, and then we go talk to them about it. So, who from the Order is stationed at the castle? Right. We need a code name, though. We don't want to give them away. Of course. Right. So, needless to say, we need to go speak with the Baron. Yeah. Right. So, let's go talk to the Baron. Okay. Let's, let's take a shortcut, though. There's a shortcut? 
Yeah, this what, way. No, that that's not a I, look, his office is right. He opens up this door and it leads to this massive room lined with various Wait. uh scrying mirrors, a massive crystal ball in the center. It, it definitely looks like a chamber designed specifically to spy on people from afar. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> we could just look. <laughs> I'm fairly certain the palace is probably protected against scrying magic. It's a good chance. I don't remember, though. <sighs> Isn't the Mad Baron's office just this way? And she starts walking back. Where are you? <laughs> Ortho! It's a shortcut. You're, this is literally the opposite of a shortcut. We went the long way. <laughs> He's, from the he's high intelligence, not high wisdom. All right. So entering in at all that wonderfulness. As you barge in to the Baron's yep. office unannounced, right. uh, he's working on a piece of paper. He looks up. Ortho, I've told you before. Can't just, <laughs> just enter my office. Dad. Oh, oh, you're, you're right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Store. Belina watches him leave. Belina, get out! He looks pointedly at uh, Belina as well. <sighs> uh, knock on the door. Stand by! Very well, you may come in, Ortho. Now, what was so important that you had to breach noble protocol again? <clears throat> Forgive me, my lord. Uh, we, we've come up with an idea. Uh, or two. Or two. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, both of which require a little more information regarding the uh, comings and goings of the palace and who is currently in residence uh, and possibly who you might be inviting from the palace to your party uh, oh, well, the day after uh, tomorrow. Of course, we did speak that uh, the day after it's tomorrow. No, I thought the party was... It's the... It's on the 30th, that is what we agreed. Yes, it was two, two days from the... From yesterday. Right, we had a long rest. Okay, so... Right, tomorrow evening. Correct. Yes. <laughs> tomorrow. Yes. Well, yeah. well, I did say that I was going to throw the most wondrous party that Arkenvale has ever seen. I've invited most of the other barons and baronesses, many countesses, and I have personally invited four members of the royal family to attend. Wonderful. And when the royal family is in attendance, if they do decide to come, I would hope so, for your stature's sake. Um, uh, were you, what, would they be accompanied by guards, yes? Why, yes, they never leave the palace grounds without their own personal accompaniment of guards. All right, and the palace guards, their uniforms are a slightly higher standard than your uh, the average town guards, correct? Why, of course, all the members of the guard are dressed in burgundy and gold, the colors... Yes. Of the empire no plain flat steel for them no in no, fact indeed. even a couple of the dukes have their own colored armor to try to emulate such a style i must I, say quite I, envious so i would love to have guards able to wear colored armor but alas <laughs> not for the baron but perhaps after the party after the party perhaps you'll be raised now at least a count to it i should say <laughs> i would hope 
Uh, now, indeed, so the Count and uh, the, the Royal, so the, the guards of the palace, their uniform, again, is in the burgundy and gold. They're, the bands that they wear, they're just standard magic users and... Everybody and, follows the same system. Yes, yes, of course. So would you find, perhaps, a palace guard who is gifted as, say a bard, or lightly gifted with divine magic, or it's even a sorcerer. Most of the palace guard members would be gifted in arcane magic in some way. Uh, there aren't very many, uh, well, lower level breeds. There are some uh, followers of the aspects, of course, and, you know, you do get the... You divine champions from time to time. Uh, everybody needs healing, of course. That's very important. But there's not much in the way of us. There's no black bandit folks in the palace. Guard. No, no, no black bandits. Obviously, but or gray bandits. Right. Uh, sorry, gray bandits. Gray bands, folks right? In the uh, in the palace guard. Right, uh, we've made that. No one I was thinking. There are no. Black no such thing as black bands. No, no, no. Gray band. Heaven forbid. Um, no. Um, but what of those of only a lighter hue? Do you think they would ever make it into a palace guard? Ah, uh, you speak, of course, of a uh, a blue or or pink band. Do yes, not? the lighter ones, indeed. Ah. Uh. Well, occasionally, yes. Like, uh, like I said, some divine champions of justice uh, who have sworn an oath to an aspect, they get a blue band. But there are a few of them. Hmm. Now, you've noticed Korg's band, of course, being the one in particular I'm speaking of. Yes, uh, a hint of blue on that. Indeed. Anything of that stature making chance on a palace guard? I've never seen one myself. Hmm. Usually it's a nice, rich, royal blue in color. I would imagine or so. Ortho's favorite color. <laughs> Indeed. All right, so... Hmm. I'm just... Uh, so, what we're looking at plan wise just so you're aware of our current uh ideas uh sir would be to possibly emulate some of the palace guards that come to escort their nobles to the party now that being said um you would, you would have to take the guards out and steal their uniforms. Oh, a risky maneuver, especially on the manor house grounds. No, no, I mean more for the sake of, like, casting seeming to replicate. Uh, now, I understand... Uh, with, with that, hold So, I understand that a thorough inspection can possibly reveal the illusion that seeming provides but if the appropriate status and procedures are followed one would hope that such a detailed inspection wouldn't occur you have to pass through the anti-magic field to enter the palace grounds i see so there's an anti-magic field around the palace grounds across all the major entries at least I personally have never tried to climb the walls, so I wouldn't know if it extends all the way around. But there are runes across the major thoroughfare in order to enter that dispels any magic upon entering. It I only see. works through the entryway, of course. Once you're in the grounds, all the members inside have access to their magic. They're able to cast spells so that they can eliminate any intruders and throw fanciful parties, I must. Hey, Indeed. The best part is why so, a day in Archivale without magic would be like a, a day. I don't know. On the surface, it would be a travesty, I must say. You're so right, sir. 
<laughs> right, right, because no one throws parties on the surface, whatever the case may be. Uh, not no good one... parties, I'm sure. Right. Uh, moving away from don't that. even have fanciful magical fireworks. <laughs> Perhaps they don't even summon eldritch creatures to dance. <laughs> How can you imagine, Ortho? No eldritch creatures to dance for the members. Well, I couldn't imagine to begin with. I've never been invited. Oh, that's right. You're not good enough. <laughs> wow. Don't worry, my boy. <laughs> Maybe... <laughs> I shall ensure that we have fine entertainment at this party that you are invited to tonight! Tomorrow! Tomorrow! Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow. I got so excited, I wanted it to be tonight, but it is on the morrow, yes. Indeed. So, now, per se, so the gates all have the anti-magic field. For sure, yes. So if we were to move to a portion of the wall, per se, not the gate itself, and say, pass through it, I don't know. I've never personally tried to perform any nefarious acts against the palace. Obviously not, good sir. We would never even insinuate such. My um, heart is still loyal to the Emperor, you must understand. Indeed, and the only May reason we're even reign attempting last for another May thousand is indeed years. Another thousand years. Well, um, would we be able to speak to the member uh, that's stationed at the palace? I suppose it might be possible to recall Xander. I'll have to send him a message, of course. Perhaps tomorrow you Wonderful. <clears throat> yes, that would uh that would possibly help with the planning process. Um and we would be very appreciative of any assistance you could provide. In the meantime, do your uh, archives here in the uh, uh, tower have uh, notes on the current comings and goings and doings of the palace as, as it is currently. And it keeps the some information have... on hand, of course. Uh, the best way to protect the emperor and his family is to ensure that we know their whereabouts and, and what they're doing from time to time. Of course, of course. And again, we would never consider abusing this knowledge for more than regaining. Yes, yes. What information are you searching for, Belina? Um, I can have it compiled for you for tomorrow. Uh, I'm looking for the uh, changing of the guards and the possible... Um, number of guards that usually accompany the royals as they travel through the town uh, oh. as well as the procedures for gaining entry to the palace uh, when Easy enough invited. Happens. The guards work on a two hour rotation which each guard unit is staggered at different times so they have guard mount approximately every 30 minutes to swap out different parapets and, and guards across the wall, so there is no singular guard change at any point in time, as it cycles throughout the day and the night on a constant basis. Each guard taking its position for those two hours and yes. cycling out more. Uh, usually they serve about the 10 hour shift throughout the day. They just cycle to different uh, locations upon the palace grounds. Wonderful. Now, of the uh, the gates and the openings into the palace, at any point in time, are they closed and barred entry to en to those that are not of uh, the royals? And the the main thoroughfare is closed one hour after dark. Only and those who reside within the palace itself or carry a letter of passage are allowed to move through. Correct. Okay. And the... And, of course, nobles on business. Yes, Official nobles on business. Official business that you must bother the royal family for, though. Indeed. If a noble bothers the royal family late at night and it's not urgent enough, why? Sometimes that's how new noble spots get made, if you catch my... <laughs> I, I can understand that, indeed. The um, emperor does not like being bothered in the evening I hours. I not imagine so. Are there servant entries? No. 
There are no servant entries into the pod. All people pass through the main gate. So there is no... Uh, so even those of Once the... Once upon the crown, I'm sure there's doorways that servants use. I wouldn't know where they are. But I've never seen a servant walk through the doors that I do. Once right, except for the main gate. Itself. Yes. Okay, yes. So they... even, even those servants of the, the gray band will have to walk through the main gate. Yes, everybody transitions through the same central main road. I see. Single processing point for the palace. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, with that being said, that gives me quite a bit to think about. Which noble, I would like to know which nobles are currently in residence and, and which ones you've invited. And I'd like to have some of their uh, personal information about them, if at all possible, to look up so that we may possibly appropriately pay them respects as they arrive at the party uh, and provide entertainment until we depart on our clandestine operation, as it were. You wish to know every noble I've invited or just the no, members of the royal family? The members family. of the royal family. Ah, well, in residence... Currently, there is, of course, his divine grace, blessed by the aspects, and, and granted the divine right to rule us all in his wisdom and mercy, Emperor Gareth Mordon. Long may he reign. Sir, Long you invited the reign. emperor? No, you just asked who was in residence. I would never oh. presume oh, to invite the emperor. Oh, <laughs> my. Merely. Uh, oh. I am not a fool, no, no. But I have invited several of his lesser children to come, hoping to impress them. Now, of course, in residence currently, there are eight of his 13 children. I have invited four of them to come and visit our party. And uh, his ninth child, I have invited Althera, the 11th child. I have invited Nulara, the 6th child. And of course, I have invited Edwin, the young, young prince, the 13th child. You didn't uh, invite Prince Rakeef? <laughs> well, you... Of course I invited Prince Rakeef. I thought you were asking for who I invited besides him. Oh. Okay, well, um, this should be interesting then. Um... You did say that you wanted to lure him out of the palace. Yes, that was the intent, as long as he doesn't bring the stone with him. Oh, that he, will, would... he will definitely want to come to see a famous Lapine bard. He is quite intrigued by Lapine women, I must say. Indeed. I do not know what happened, but he was journeying uh, away a, a few months ago, and he came back obsessed with Lapine. Uh, why, half this party is in his honor, I said himself. I, I said, my lord, I have found a Lapine performer. You must come see it. She is absolutely divine. Her name is Paulina. Indeed. Well, in that case, um, well, if he, he seemed quite intrigued when he sent his messenger back. I think this plan is going to work. All right. Well, uh, hopefully my disguise proves well enough that he doesn't realize that I am Bulina instead of Falina. Because that. Yes, involves... I was not foolish enough to give him your real name. We discussed it. Right. Yes, indeed. So yes. I just have Alina's to make sure... a famous Lapine bard. <laughs> Why, surely you've seen the signs and the posters. <laughs> Beautiful enough to catch the eye of the Emperor himself. Skilled enough to steal your hearts and your woes. Yes, you shall see, you shall see tears criminal. of joy. Yes, and wanted oh, criminal no, of the Empire. Says, Sir, Falina. Oh, aren't, Falina. The, aren't these Falina. the posters that you had made? Yes. 
Yes. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I always thought you were speaking of the other posters. But... No, no. <laughs> yes, for, the, no. for the party advertisements, of uh, course. Ah, I see. The common folk Wonderful. have to know what is going on, even though they are not invited. <laughs> it must be advertised. Indeed. Well, yeah. Indeed. They, they have to participate about world knowledge and gossip. Yes. They must right. know which nobles are moving up in the hierarchy. I must say, you know, 2,000 gold pieces and a magical artifact is not cheap. But I believe Ortho, and I've seen your grace and, and skill when you move about the room. I believe it will be quite an enchanting performance. Indeed. Um, if be. all the members of the royal family come and they are impressed by you, I might get a count of it. Oh, let's uh, hope so for your sake. Um, I guess we'll see what the uh, tomorrow evening brings. But yes, indeed, I would like to know, uh, have the records for the five individuals that you've invited. I shall get them for you prior to the party. Indeed, thank you. Uh, as early as possible to give me enough time to research. But of course, but of course, I understand the powerful for having a, a keen mind and intellect in order to see and research and learn as much as possible. In fact, that is why I uh, gifted Ortho with his magical headband. Correct. And uh, the, uh, the the member that is stationed within the palace, we, we would still like yeah. to speak with him. Yes, of course. He will be here tomorrow. Wonderful. All right. Perhaps mid-afternoon. I'll send a runner today. Well, we won't want to make it look too suspicious. He'll come by. Uh, we'll say that he... Tea time was requested for his uncle. Ah, uh, yes. That would be a good ruse. Yes, indeed. Have you ever had Arkenvale tea, Alina? No. No, I have not. Ah, uh, this is divine. You must try it one time. It is made with aether honey. Interesting. I'll, uh, I will definitely have to try that. Maybe there'll be some at the party. Yes? Oh, I will not serve tea at the party. No, it'll be I'll wine, like, probably. Silly, probably. Of wine, course. indeed. From aether grapes. Oh, fun. They All only right. grow here on the island, actually. Well, with as much aether as the uh, capital has been blessed with, it's no wonder. Of course. Most of the food grown naturally here is infused with raw, primal, magical energy. That's why we have more wizards and sorcerers than anywhere in the world. Mm. All from the Emperor's blessing. The first Emperor, 1500 years ago, blessed this island with his mystical energy, infusing it with his own divine life source that has granted us overwhelming aether for aeons since. Yes, I mean, it's quite fortunate for all of us. <laughs> what? Long Would may they reign. believe that I heard a rumor from a Silvash that uh, the current emperor is the original emperor reincarnated through. Speak such blasphemy in this house. <laughs> No, like I said, it was a rumor. It, it was silly. It's the Silvash. They've never truly acclimated to the new order of the world. You know, they fought the longest against the Emperor. You would think that a people so blessed with arcane arts would appreciate an order in which they were able to rise to such power. But no, they wanted to stay in their... Elven gardens, curating the natural world. <laughs> Boy, we must protect the trees. The Aether should not be a defining method of separating people into power groups. Oh, fools. I mean, it's That's nothing but natural. The power in the world, and they don't even understand its true use or purpose. Right? It's nothing Correct. but natural. But... Look at the sheer blessings of Aether that I have brought to you. Right. A muse once blessed you, Belina, infusing you with Aether. Do you think you would have gotten this far in life without that natural gift? Uh, 
No, no, I would never presume such. Exactly. You were probably blessed by a muse upon your very birth into this world and didn't even know it. She blessed you with grace and beauty and the ability to enrapture people with your very sensuous movements. Hey, hey, Baron, how did you know that it was us? What are you talking about? Aren't we still... No, we're not. Oh, we're not? Okay. No, Jahadin used to spell Jahadin magic. used to spell magic. Oh, my bad. My bad. So, you're right. Yeah, no. Yeah. Reverse question. I remember. No, yeah. Like, Ortho, do you need to tighten the band again? You know, based off of what he was doing while we were walking around earlier, perhaps. He seemed rather upset at the, uh, the options of... Uh, that were given to him for moving through the city without being noticed now that he's possibly under suspicion of being a member of the zoo crew. Options? Uh, I, I wasn't given no options. What, what did you do, actually, to get past the gods? Uh, oh, uh, I recently uh, was gifted with the ability to cast this spell seeming. Oh, uh, quite useful spell in our spy craft. Indeed. I've been telling Ortho here to learn it for ages. But yeah. he's always been a lone wolf, not really interested in learning the types of spells that help others. What, no. oh, what are you talking about? Baron, almost every I spell better alone. I'm, almost every spell I got is helpful to a group. Aim them. What? Aim your helpful group. Telepathic bomb? You don't know that spell. Don't lie to me. Uh, he I... used it earlier today, actually, good sir. Yeah. Did you finally have another breakthrough, Ortho, and learn new magic? Of course. I'm so proud of you, my boy. One day, you might actually be a quite accomplished wizard. And I... <laughs> Ouch. That hurts me. Oh. Standing outside in the hall. It, every, I mean, it's all thanks to you, oh. sir. You're paying for my way through the school. Oh. Thank the order, not me. Well, you were the lead. You're well, yeah, worse. that is true. <laughs> I mean, indeed. One who leads such a place must be given credit for its accomplishment. Everything that I do helps you. Uh, you help the Order. One day, I will not be here anymore, Ortho. One day, I shall die. And a new person shall take over leading the Order of Time. Well, hopefully that is a day long, long off. Oh, I should hope so. I don't even know who would take over the order should I perish. Uh, well, it's gotta... Ever since Gregor died on that last mission, the... I haven't had a deputy. The Greg... office has been empty. Did you say Gregor died? Oh, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not get the newsletter? What? No. He passed away a month ago. Oh, my goodness. This is, this yes. is a tragedy. He was so uh, young. Yes. Well, 62 is quite young, I will say. But, uh, alas, he was eaten by a Hydra. What was he doing fighting a Hydra? Well, we had sent him to investigate a cache of ancient X and perhaps lost artifacts of arcane import. Uh, and it, it turns out, uh, it was in a Hydra den. <laughs> Who could have predicted? Did that. Uh, they ate him. Not, not a good experience. Uh, he what? tried to contact me, but you know, all I got was an image of him you know, running away, snapping heads, screaming, Oh, I forgot all oh, my Hydra lore. And I was like, How could you forget Hydra lore? They're a famous beast. Why could you? You just have to remove the heads. Well, actually, it turns out I had your lore. 
and uh in case you're wondering, hydras grow more heads. It's not less heads. You don't you don't remove the heads. That's, no. that's the opposite of what you were supposed to do. I made a note in the archives that uh do not forget. No, no. You you burn them and you destroy their heart. No, well, make well, the head. Well it's important to note that Gregor specialized in uh enhancing like his own fighting power and he was chopping at some way. Well, there's a Hydra with 37 heads guarding an ancient drove of arcane. Even the Empire itself. That sounds interesting. Have we uh, <laughs> retrieved Gregor's body? Well, I did send a cleanup crew to try to take care of it. But, I mean, if Gregor couldn't do it, then what makes you think the, well, the crew? I sent four people this time. I sent Johan... Ilara, Evan, and Seamus. What? Uh, aren't those our other wizards? Well, yes, you have to send a wizard to do artifact oh. collection. What? Poke, Hold poke my head in and just say, did you want us to go get it, or...? <laughs> or well, oh, the Grok. Oh, but I thought if he was, that was good enough. I'm just worried because, you know, all of them are... That that leaves, like, me and you and, like, two other people. Who else is going to teach us in the divine ways? I mean, obviously, we have other members scattered throughout the world. Those are just the ones stationed here in Arkenvale that I could quickly send. Yeah, that's fair. There's, there's, oh, Ortho, you haven't been studying the member roster. Have, Wasn't have you his been reading the either. newsletters? Well, well, he wasn't paying his college dues either, so. You did not pay your alumni dues to the Tower of Kalash? Well, I, I've been, <laughs> I, I caught quite a bit up. I still owe a little bit, but, you know. <laughs> you at least done your <laughs> mandatory hosting of the games? Yeah, kinda. He's scheduled for one, at oh. least. Yes. Or, though, you know when we sponsored you to go to the Academy that there were going to be certain responsibilities levied on you. I know that you've been in the field for the past three years, but... You still have to do these things. You have to read the membership letters. You have to do you pay your dues to your college. Well, how do it's I, important. How am I supposed to get back there and do it? We have a literal teleportation room. I guess. Also, well, how... if you had bothered to read the letter, you would know that membership is up 13% this year. Before we count Gregor's death. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm a troublemaker. I can't help it. <laughs> the worst secret order member possible. <laughs> <laughs> well I'll get right on that uh, we we look forward to receiving the documents and everything that we need for our research and uh, I'll be practicing to ensure that I'm ready for the gala tomorrow yes yes you can use the training hall if need be oh, thank you I don't know where to find this letter. You you say that to uh, the Baron or to like, are you whispering to the Did so you walk outside? To the group out here. Oh. <laughs> Did you think of maybe checking the archives? I'm sure they probably have a shelf of all the letters that they've sent out as records. I didn't. Maybe you should check. 
<laughs> Yo, this That's... office is kind of snazzy. Yeah, a little That's... bit above your pay grade. That's Gregor's old office. I'm going to go ahead and go practice then while I we wait for the information and everything for tomorrow and to go out for our uh, items. Oh, hey, Blaine, it's this way. What? No, no, the training hall's this way, I remember. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, that's rude, you know. <laughs> so, I come to a realization that if I use seeming to go pick up our groceries in the morning, I won't be able to use seeming to try and get close to the castle. Because you only have one fifth level spell slot? Correct. Because you took that dip in rogue? Yes. Which I'm not regretful of. I think I really needed that dip in rogue. Um, and I, I, I plan on taking more dips in rogue. But uh, if we live that long. Or if Belina lives that long. Whatever the case may be. Um, what is that? Why is there a thing? Oh, there's two of me. Uh, I was just testing the... But, uh... So I'm trying to think of a way to uh, appropriately is tomorrow specifically the candles and the hammer without wasting seeming. And I could use the scroll of alter self and just go get it myself. Or Jahanan could alter herself to look like she looked when I changed her seeming so she could go pick the stuff up. Technically, Jahanan could make herself look like any one of the entities. She could just it's true. One at it's time. just the clothes that don't change is the problem. Yeah. So... <laughs> Makes herself look like human cord, but she's wearing a bloody dress. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Uh, no, but Wait, like where? I could use I could use the scroll of alter self, and I could make myself look like the human Belina, and I can go and pick up the stuff. No big deal. There, that wouldn't be an issue. I could do that, but that would use up the scroll of alter self that we just got. But we'd have our items, and we'd still have the use of seeming at the fifth level slot if we needed it. Now, granted, seeming won't get us into the castle because we know that there's a dispel magic thing up, but it'd at least help us get close without being accosted, I would assume. Perhaps. Is Cork drinking know. in the bar? Yes. I see Cork in the bar. Yeah, he's definitely in the bar because we're doing the books part and I'm useless. There's several other members in the bar just like they're drinking, they're partying, they various sorcerers, like one or two wizards. Uh, no, like, burly, like, Strong men types. Oh. Some wizards, I guess. Saying, come sit with them. Yeah, they're just like, ah, oh, us. I just want to get drunk while you guys read books. Uh, I'm going to look for the newsletters. <sighs> There's like an, an archive of. Uh, it looks like they send out one a quarter um, as they go through there. And it talks about mostly mundane things, uh, very boring. Like, quarter revenue was up 20%. Current holdings are, you know, XYZ. And then it's like, legislation to be concerned about are lobbying forces with the Magic Council have in order us to get a 27% increase in our to perform clandestine operations in, you know, XYZ region. 
I stopped reading the thing. <laughs> There's a small section about membership. They're like, oh, we've gotten up to 200 members now. Uh, sadly, Gregor has died. We are currently auditioning for the position of deputy uh, director. Oh, we are? According to the newsletter, yeah. Is there a date? Uh, it, it came out like three weeks ago. Ah. I burst into his <laughs> office. Burst into his office again. Ortho! Oh, oh, right. What are you doing? I knock on the door. <laughs> oh, just enter already. Why are you so excited, Ortho? I, I'd like to audition for Deputy Director. Ortho, my lad. Know that the Deputy Director has to be a noble. You have ability yet. Well, there's a spot open. What spot? Well, you, you know, with M Mr. Gregor Dad. His, his spot of nobility is open. His family is still alive. Now his wife has inherited the title. He has four children as well, all gifted with magic. Oh, all right. Perhaps one day you walk over. Oh, oh. <laughs> come back. <laughs> Perhaps one day you might get a noble title, Ortho, if you can prove yourself that you're industrious and intelligent and a, a capable wizard. But but I am. I, I found these people. I, I, I figured out a prophecy. I, I try to work together with, with, it, with who I can. You've done quite admirable, yes, but I must ask the question, Ortho. Take off your headband. I <laughs> take off the headband. Now tell me. Do you feel like a strong... A strong what? You cut out. A strong and powerful wizard still. Uh... You know... I... I, I could definitely probably, you know, make up some good old boom powder. Yeah. Put the headband back on, Ortho. I put it on. I guess it's, if it's warm. <laughs> it, it's an attunement thing, but for RP purposes. It's yeah, yeah, I'm just using it. Like, uh, now, understand why you can't be the direct deputy director. You can't wear the time. Why not? Nobles wear their jewelry all the time. This is no they different. take it off when they sleep. Are you telling me you haven't taken that headband off until I just asked you now? What, did you see the impression it made on my forehead? <laughs> it must be filthy. It's been, what, six years? Well, if I, if I take it off, I forget to wash it. There was a time that I dreamed that perhaps one day I would have formally adopt you as my son. That you would become a baron. I don't know, I have to think about that now. <laughs> <laughs> You're dismissed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go start drinking. You got drink during court. <laughs> uh, Other people room. are in the room. They're like, "Oi, Ortho! Oh, I look so glum." I just the stupid headband. I, I just uh, I need to get rid the of the bear. Get on your nerves again. He's not on my nerves. He's right. He's you know. 
You know he loves you like a son. Don't let it wear on you. What? I, he loves me with a headband. He doesn't want me around without it. Oh, Ortho. Of course he loves you with the headband, but I'm sure he loves you without it. I don't know. I feel like a tool. Ortho. Yeah. You do know where he got that headband from, do you not? No. Ortho. That headband belonged to his daughter. Well, that just sounds messed up. Yes. She was born without magic. So he crafted that headband specifically for her. Then she ran away or some such. He was never able to give it to her, so she couldn't learn magic power. Did they ever find her? Like... No, she disappeared off the face of the earth. Nobody's seen her since she vanished. We... Poor Jacqueline. What? Say her name again? Jacqueline! Uh. Wait, what? the Baron's last name is Dayarn? <laughs> Why? The simple fact that he gave you that headband shows that he must. having given up hope of ever seeing his daughter again. I don't know about that. Dun, dun, dun. Wait, why didn't he say something when we said Jacqueline De Arn and we're hiding the other pieces with them the other day? I'm not in the room with them right now. You only mention her as left hand Jack. Nobody no. knows left hand who left hand Jack. No, 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 no. We said with the the black with the the gray banded noble Jack. Yeah. Uh, he probably wasn't paying attention. Oh man, hmm. I eyeballs light up. I'm like, oh buddy. I don't know who Jacqueline Dayarn is, so I'm not surprised whatsoever. But I'm surprised <laughs> if that matters. Cork has no clue what's going on. He's like in shock. Uh... <laughs> I'm not in the room. I know nothing. Hey, Even my 26 know. perception doesn't go through walls. The, the Arn wrong, and you said that the daughter was the son? Wait, what? You put a note, and I saw it on the stream. Jack the Arn is the Baron's son. <laughs> <laughs> Don't read my notes, life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I mean, all you know is that he had a daughter named Jacqueline. Yeah, that's true. Who doesn't have uh, Aether power. Nope. Hey, you know. Uh, wait, what, wasn't she supposed to be on a duchy, not a barony? I'm confused. This is uh, 37 sessions of detail. Just the DM randomly throwing shit out just to make us freak out. <laughs> uh, I think it was written a long time ago. Uh, I don't know about that. He picks up the pamphlet. Of make shit up. And he puts it back down. <laughs> <laughs> These were my notes for the start of the session. I just want to point out. This is all of them. <laughs> I says, can't even read what it says. What does it say? It says, Baron, 2000 GP magic artifact. Those are all my notes. <laughs> Nice. All right. So right now we're sitting at uh, pretty much the end of the day, I guess, because we're really not going to do much else for this day. And we've got a lot. You guys can go ahead and take a long rest as you spend the day practicing, drinking, going, 
Ortho uh, starts to experience, you know, his midlife crisis or whatever while he tries to make uh, various connections in his mind of, of things that he's learned. And that's what we'll call the session tonight. Because uh, we're hitting close to a four hour mark. Already? Uh, yeah. Holy yeah. wow. So, uh, pure RP session. Uh, thank Jason you, shopping. everybody and who joined us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, if you're enjoying the streams, uh, you can join us in our Discord where we chat because we do more than streaming. We work on connecting people and playing games and getting together and you know, doing what we do. We're all gamers. Uh, we need DMs. Uniting Gamers. We need more GMs. We have over 200 people in our Discord server today. We have like eight or nine total GMs. We need more GMs. If you like to run games, we have lots of players looking to play. Please join our Discord channel. We'll post it in the chat at the end of this. That's the most important thing. It's connecting and be back next weekend for Out of the Abyss run by our player Ortho here as the GM and on Saturday and we will be returning back to Pathfinder second edition with agents of Edgewatch on Sunday. So we hope to see you guys then uh, participate in the chat. Uh, other than that, have a great night. Thank you for watching tonight uh, and join us in our discord and hang out with us. We love to talk about games and more people to run more games. People need GMs. Please join us. Have a great night. Take care.